Hey, Spam. Happy birthday, man. So now you're uh, 18? What a tor torment I have. Uh. Hey, 71 of the listeners going up. Type shit. You're finally legal, it's crazy. Uh, shout out to Tallinn, Estonia. Shout out to Minsk, Belarus. Shout out to Brisbane, Australia. Shout out to Dublin, Ireland. And shout out to Helsinki, Finland. My brother from another mother and the other countries as well. I can fuck you. Pause on that, bro. First though, on. I don't wanna fight. No, I don't wanna. Fourteen fight. hearts, I one bookmark. I'll fight. take it. No, I don't wanna fight. Another one. Step into that playlist, twin. Hey. Difficult. Yo, Gandalf. Yeah, 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 Gandalf. Amazing. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, man. You had good food. What food? <laughs> like a monarch. Nice. Here. So one to Hearts of Iron Four video. Though at this point you You can date Stalin. <clears throat> is it only this or is there a uh, there more? Probably noticed that this is not the original world of Hearts of Iron Four. This is something different based on the artwork. And you'd be right, because it instead is one of easily the most cursed things that I think that Are I've you? ever seen in my entire life. This yeah. is the Fem Bavaria mod. No, no, you're probably is... looking going stack. What is a no. Fem Bavaria mod? What does this do? Well, um, it specializes in the creation of effeminate looking Why? males that I am not quite sure whether or not bro, I can this say is the real name that we are all aware of. And they're based uh, out of a Bavaria, apparently. Day, now, at this point, I've only seen the screenshots of what has been popping up in the mod workshop, this so I don't really ever. know everything that is in this mod, but I've been encouraged strongly bro. by my community to go into it. And so, you know what? We're going in dry. Oh, God, phrasing. So here we are, my friends. Single oh. player, new game, now 1936. And hey, why is Erwin Rommel the commander of Pause Germany? What, what, wait, what? What? And what? Wehrmacht infighting? Right. Bavarian shadow government? Generals, wh what is all of this? These aren't the bonuses of Germany that I know. Ah, uh, well, I guess let's just go in then. Oh, immediately beginning with an event. The skirts of Bavaria following the assassination of the mustache man. Ah, ah, they're, they're even phrasing this mustache man. Ah, yeah, good, safe for YouTube. Very, YouTube. very safe topic yeah. here for YouTube. A shadow government was built up in Bavaria. It was super secret and super feminine. No one is completely sure how this came to be, but many hugs and head pats were shared as these revolutionaries prepared for succession. Now today, civil war is nigh. The cult of the new German empire raises its fist against the Wehrmacht. Bavaria will finally be free and Bavaria shall endure. Uh, Bavarian Regency, country changes to the Bavarian Oh, oh, we're it, war. What? So the war. January 1st, 1936, war immediately breaks out and we have a pink. What the f? No. F ah! The assembly, the diverse assembly, political oh, power no. minus 10, daily adorable. Adorable. What the hell is adorableX? Oh, it's a new party ideology. Ad ad adorableX. Ad kids, it's bro. adorable. It's just, it's. Uh, 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 uh. Ruprecht stability plus 10, mass skirt production, division speed plus 5%, consumer goods minus 3. Every Vamok soldier will have a skirt, my friends. An average cuteness. What do you mean cuteness? What? 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 Oh, 
Oh, that's what it means. Bavarian cuteness factor. A Cute very important lessons. part of Bavarian society is our cuteness factor. Keeping it high will give buffs to special abilities and political this power. This kind of cuteness gives buffs to combat. Uh, oh. Oh, why? Why is this a thing? I can give cute lessons and training. Why? Why? What fresh hell is this? Anyway, it's not like we do anything. We immediately start out here in a civil war. <coughs> Scotland. <coughs> war, so I guess research from the get-go. The classic setup, as I guess we're prone to. And then civilian factory. We don't really hardly have anything. So, I mean, I guess build some stuff. I don't know. Do we <laughs> yeah. have any military goods? No. We I'm don't pretty sure they wear skirts. I don't have anything. Um, production, I'm producing basically some guns. Do I have anything troop-wise? Two. The first brigade and the wholesome brigade. Um, vampo no! Why? Why is this a thing? And I killed. That's just a skirt, but male version. That's a skirt, bro. The other one are Tom. Tom. So we have fem. Yeah. Bro. Why? Why is that from? Okay. Okay. All right. See all for right. yourself. All right. All right. I'm all good. Right. All right. Well, it's not like they would change the commanders too. Uh, uh, oh. 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 <laughs> What am I oh, watching? God. Oh God. Why? Why do you do this? Live Zelda. demonstrate. So you're gonna wear a kilt. Ah, uh, bro. Bro, what is this? With the question mark. I don't think that's Zelda. I'm pretty sure that's Link. Why? Well, I guess you're gonna be in charge of this, and then uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and get a field. I'm just field, been field an alien for field. so long, bro. Yeah, but Thanks you have to... Vittles, I am I not. Hate this. Imagine me buying a kill to see someone wear the ki bro. Nah. Well, this is cursed, but what about the focus tree? Oh my god. This is so cursed. Okay, um, the first Munich concert. An assembly has formed to guide the young nation. We must plan a large concert to follow up on Felix's original message and begin planning for what his nation <clears throat> Of course I choked on water. Bro, I'm not gonna... No. You should become. Sure. Ivan the Beautiful, the Bavarian <coughs> Assembly has attracted more than only Germans to its core. Thousands have traveled from the Soviet I'm Union, dying. fleeing potential purges. Yes, I, I understand why they are probably being purged. One such refugee going by the name of Ivan has managed to secure himself a seat on the assembly alongside the crown prince and other leaders. He claims to be, quote, the military mastermind and wants to help spread the ideology to the Soviet Union, overthrowing Stalin's regime. Other leaders are skeptical over whether getting involved in other countries is the primary concern for the time being, but he seems to be pushing through his plans for Russia, whether or not the council approves of them or not. Send him to Ukraine, increases support in Ukraine by 20%. Sure, send him to Ukraine. Ukraine. All right, I'm sure that Ukraine could use some more... Um, 40 minutes. Effeminate men. The first concerts. Astroprect looked stage center today as Bavarian government began their first concert. Instead of silly press conferences, the Assembly of the Bavarian Regency has decided to address the public via cute concerns where all members of the government would wear pink outfits and dance. The general public and foreign leaders seem to be primarily confused, but it has been successful in garnering a lot of attention. Most importantly, in a daring move, all members of the Assembly were wearing... Regular pants, skirts, later <laughs> later Hosen. Yes. What are show those? Of wholesome patriotism. Later Hosen. I don't know if I want to Google, but no, oh, it's just like overalls. Okay. No, bro. The traditional outfit of Bavaria was worn by all assembly members on the main stage. Asterprek's choice of dress code was to display the national heritage and pride of the new Bavarian Regency, but most importantly, to strengthen the field of unity and revitalize the nation, proud of all proud boys in the new state. This brave move put the foreign leaders in awe as the general public praised this wholesome show of patriotism. Why? Felix, despite being heir to the throne, didn't want to reinstate the monarchy at all. As he did his musical number, he sung about the importance of raising militias and properly defending Bavaria. Yeah, strengthen the militia. Sure. Okay, time yeah. for the second Munich concert. The second concert. The second was like the first, but people now knew what to expect. Several new foreign journalists have arrived and find some help with their performances. As a parting energy. gift, what? everyone at the concert was given a cute little hair bow, and the best part about them is that they were... <laughs> what? 
am I choosing this? They were blue. G give me some stability. But suddenly, before everyone could These leave, Felix so announced a surprise performance by the stockholders and businessmen of Bavaria. They sung about how cool capitalism was and threw loads of cash into the crowd. Oh, you capitalism, or it's cute. Now, I'll, I'll take the civilian factory, sure. Now we either have the third cute concert capitalism. or the closed door concerto. Okay, the ideal male, the Lord. Okay, this is this is choosing what we're gonna be doing here, focus wise. I don't, I, I don't good. know what is gonna happen here. So let's see. This appears. Is this monarchist, the Lord Regent, um, the ideal male, or our path to freedom? That way, that's not. Wait, isn't that Nagisa protecting the flame? Rewrite the. Yeah, oh, that's Nagisa from that's like the assassination classroom, isn't that? So okay, all right, all right, all right. Basically, we have monarchist. This appears to kind of be fascist, and this is the democratic path. Um. Uh, or also communist it depends on what you do uh, uh god i don't even know what to do here okay um we'll decide in a second first the third munich concert let's just do that increase our stability more a missing king king ruprecht von wittelsbach addressed the crowd at a press conference the other day following his son's concert and since has disappeared no one is sure what is going on but it's done nothing but harm the stability of the new independent nation. Are you kidding me? The third concert. The third concert was brief compared to the first and second. Nagisa, the leader of the Democratic faction in the assembly, took center stage, trying to explain to the crowd why elections were the best way to move forward. His music number was nothing fantastic, but it seems to have gotten the point across. I, okay, well, it seems like he sucked, to be honest. Well, you know what we need here, folks. We I know what a weeb is. We need the... I and I don't know what a dweeb is. Ideal. Fuck is a tweeb. Little male, sure. The cat boy, the cat, the, the cat boy. Okay. City Names Commission. A new issue has been today brought up by the Munich Concert Hall. Apparently, your city names are all boring and need to be updated. Great idea. Cuteness factor plus 10%. Gets event Nuremberg. <laughs> Nuremberg. First up, Nuremberg. What cool name could we ascribe? Many ideas have been thrown about, but only three have landed. Cuteberg, the cute club, the pillar of destruction. Pillar. I'm assuming it's transweeable. Destruction. Now for oh, Regensburg. No. Several of the city are already calling it Snickerdoodle, although of course we get final say. Many of the council prefer Snuggleton or Pinkberg. Pinkberg. <laughs> Snickerdoodle. Sure. And last but not least, Bavarian capital of Munich. For one reason or another, a group of international bakers flocking to the city have already dubbed it the Cupcake City, though Cozyville's been Cupcake a popular alternative. Cupcake City. Bunny Haven. The, <laughs> the cra- Yeah, very fitting with the anime. Eater of ah. eternal doom, also known as my butt. Don't you look at me like that, Felix. Bavarian identity. Everything is finished. The only decision we have is to now choose our name. Femme Bavaria. Femme Bavaria. The knightly order of Pink Bavaria. Femme Bavaria. <laughs> we are yeah, he has. I hate this. I hate this. Okay. Next step. Time to enforce cuteness standards and make everyone cute. Wait, Wilhelm asked for recognition. So what do you mean is you... Wait, what is this? Wait, no. So what you mean is that you are the Emperor Kuni? <laughs> Exclaimed the diplomatic Bavarian envoy. Why? Sir, are you sure we are not in some sort of freak show? Whispered one of the guards to Wilhelm. Well, Mr. Wilhelm, I think you are cute. We will make sure to recognize your country to the scary suited men in the League of Nations or Nations, but you have to do me a favor. Give me a kiss. <laughs> This is so cursed. Give me a kiss, baby. A kiss will out of the fly. He started You're pacing around the room as the diplomatic envoy sat in silence with a Bro. smug look on his face. Have your superiors approved of this? No, I thought it would be cute, that's all. Will almost immediately started banging his head into the wall. Cancer Are you all mom, this man. goddamn war? What's going on down there? Five seconds ago, you're part of a completely normal civil war Germany, and now this. Well, no, <laughs> I mean, it's just the type of person it. who forms the popular stereotype. <laughs> Wilhelm dismissed the envoy with no kiss taking place. Truly a sad day. I cry. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh, wait, I can spend political power and it will give me military industries. It will expand upon my fact. Oh my God. I can also launch campaigns in Ukraine. What the hell? Okay, well, we're gonna do industrialization and expand factory zonings and um, Why yeah, we'll, we'll do, so we'll do, much we'll do that. Uh, I, I don't wanna spend all my cuteness. We I need that, apparently. This is cancer. how I will prove that I am worthy of the best guild. Mm -hmm. Who the hell I wish that? I had a cake, bro. Oh, I also Any need more cake. tomboys. New German. No, the German Empire is killing the Wehrmacht. I don't want that to happen. But apparently I can't attack because I'm too busy making skirts. Wait, I just realized, is that, what, what is what is in the background here? What? Oh my God, why is this a thing in the background? 
Why? Okay, I have hundred more. Okay, I have hundred more political power. I could probably get a military staff, but I need the sit. Oh my God, no! They changed even this. It's non skippable Okay. Long hair version. Ah, is it? Why they changed all of it? What? Why is Luigi in here? The Kiev conference, an independent conference of Ukrainian separatists, have met in Kiev. They have nothing to do with Femboys or our government here in Femboy area, but they're looking for financial support. If we finance their movement, we may be able to increase our support in Ukraine. Um. No, we're not going to do that right now. Look, it's we we can't do that because we need all the funds for Catboy Appreciation Day. Oh my god. Closing the pink gate. Wait, following Felix's victory in the assembly, the overwhelming consensus has been to adopt an isolationist philosophy. The rest of Germany will be left alone, and we will in turn expect to be left alone. We will create our world here in Femboyveria, and it will be great. Catboy outfits selling like wildfire. Listen, we're just going to fortify everything, okay? Wilhelm wouldn't give me a kiss, so now we got to defend I mean, our yeah, chastity. Could be worse. I think. We already tried to make Wilhelm I'm reporting my... Why are you... Oh, kiss us, and he didn't want to. So I think that means the only option is one state to rule them all. We gotta go. We I gotta wouldn't go mind hard. getting bent. No, I, I need to not say that phrase with everything <laughs> that I've been covering here. Even as the German Civil War ends, and we're giving more speeches in the Caucasus <laughs> with the Russian intelligence looking for femboys. Now we just have to potentially deal with all this. Why do I have a plus 40% to my gain? What? I have plus 40% to political power gain. Okay. All right. Well, we, we got to we got to fix these other issues here for so that actually mean anything apparently. Education, my friends. I think that that professor guy on TikTok and Twitch would be pretty happy with me right now. Cuteness in the yeah, classroom. Today, the Bavarian pink. government announced a total revamp of education, revising many laws regarding education. Oh. Perhaps the biggest most shocking. Really? It is, huh? Talking to them yeah, was the introduction of kindness classes in the school curriculum. Hey, kindness, respect, and shall be taught as a regular basic principle of all grades in the new school system. Yeah, yeah, that, that's nice. We don't need guns, just whatever these are. The Femme Party of Toronto. Oh, on my South life. Very lives of beautiful. Okay, well, I swear on your life that, uh, that you're lying. Land of mountains and valleys. Tyrol, the region has always been a favored tourist destination of the Germans, and especially Bavarians, even though they're separated by land borders. Wait. Whatever happens in Bavaria always had an impact in Tyrol. In the wake of the independence of Femboyvaria in Germany, the Femboy ideals of its northern neighbors influenced Tyrolian politics. This all culminated in the founding of the FPT, the Fem Party of Tyrol. Fed up with the dictatorship located in Vienna, Bro. Tyrolians wish for a fresh wind in politics, just like whatever happened in our country. What exactly their goals are is still unclear, as some suspect that they want a union with Femboveria. Hey, 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 okay. Valentine's Day for the feminists, uh, cat boys of Austria, yes? Yes? I would love that. No. What the, what? Why is Patrick and Squidward in, why is this a thing? All right, I guess next up up here of men and women, we get the gender question. Ruining the childhood. How much time is left now? Um, Like somewhat. 30 oh minutes. <laughs> Less than 30. All right. I'm no longer averagely cute. I'm above average in cuteness, which gives me more political power. And yeah, it feels like I've been here Why? for an hour. The boiling already. point. Relations between the Fem Party of Tyrol and the Austrian Central Government have been <laughs> heating up for more as the FTP has grown in popularity. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Everything is about to happen. Overthrow the government in Vienna. Add Tyrol uprising. <clears throat> peacefully support their independence. Invade Austria to end this oppression. You know what? Why not? Let's go for it. I'm sure this will be fine. Yeah, this will be fine. Yeah, don't worry. We got this. Uh, I guess we're just breaking through. All right, come on. Come on. Just push in. Just push in. It's okay. The last second. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Why well, report sec- me, bruh? Report this guy. Actually, report the monitor. Okay, last second. We should be able to do this. How? How has it not fallen? The gender question of men and women, the rise in acceptance of feminine men in Pembovaria has led to many strange consequences. One of these has been in the unintentional rise of gender equality. For a time being, Pembovaria will be a state where everyone contributes, especially when that contribution oh, goes to the war effort. Hey, more recruitable po yeah, population. Yeah. yeah. Now I guess it's time to raise the cute militias. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh, the first target of the femboy assault, Austria. That's it, that's too fitting. What no, do you think the that only would be a we're thing. gonna have here is just go ahead and um, <clears throat> finish things off here. Yep, yep, yep. That seems reasonable. And then we get cores on these parts, but um, uh, not not really much else. <laughs> 
This is so dumb. And so now I guess that means we need to garrison the rest of this with our special unit, the cavalry. I hate myself. Not with 200 political power. That means we can go ahead and get a chief of army, Fluffy, an army offense genius. And do you know what the real irony of this oh, is? Not this is that Field kill. Marshal Felix von Witzelsbach. And he's no, an aggressive assaulter femboy. I am thoroughly disturbed. And here we have the cute militias, the femboy. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Why would you even start out that sentence like that? Uh, but when it cuteness itself is what's threatened, then it's every boy's duty to defend all that is wholesome. Is cuteness the femme pope has called a crusade Dungeon to reclaim the cutie lands one. from the infidels who deny kittens the like right to visit the- Oh! Oh! No? It's time for the armies to put aside their differences and unite under one banner. The sign of the thigh highs and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs or die trying. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, you know what? I'm just now realizing yeah. there was no actual choice between these. I can still choose son of the king and get political power and other stuff. Okay, let's do that and Idiot. strengthen myself. I think. Are you shitting me? Fanboy Vary will be known as the... No! The Soviet Union offers what? us a deal. It seems the Soviet Union has become aware of our activities in their territory. Yeah, I've um, I, I, I've kind of been causing some issues for them. You could see. Um, I'm not proud of myself. They demand demanded we stop, Ukraine? but are offering economic incentives if we publicly condemn these efforts. No, continue the movement. I don't care about being cute for Russian payments. Cause, oh my God, I'm realizing Osterprecht. Wait, wait, wait. Is it this? This will give me 10% stab and 5% attack, which means that combined with the two of these, Bro, these I have are plus 20% division attack. You shouldn't be so aggressive, Felix. Wait, are you kidding me? Are, are, are every single one of these things going to stack? What do you mean my leader is going to become irresistible? Look at him. Let's, I, oh God. Okay. Uh, we're going to quite literally be able to stack all of these traits onto my leader. Are you, are you freaking kidding me? A lesson in cleanliness. You filthy animal. 5% recruitable population. Why is everyone in my country willing to die for this? And I get 5% more division speed. Wait, okay, hold on. That's that's 5% here. 5% here. And if I go with my military theorist of a of a of a blitzkrieg theorist, I get I get even 10% more speed to armor technology. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm seeing where this might go. Germany denounces us. Germany is being really mean and silly. They claim that we're the rightful territory. They say they'll huh? soon invade us. Okay. Hurtful, but sure. Now let's see. A little practice. What is this? Experienced diplomat, improve relations plus 30%, or the grand ball. Wait, what is the grand ball? I had to choose one or the other. What, what, what do you mean? This trait may prove to be useful beyond simply improving relations. Gets event a little pra You know what? You know what? Sure. If it's going to be useful, I'll take it. Because I don't care about parties. I'm already the, the prettiest bell, bell of the ball. It doesn't help no. that my last name is actually Bell. I'm very disturbed right now. A little practice. Astoprecht, Lord Regent for Felix's father, offered to help out the young bachelor in his quest to secure the royal marriage of a lifetime. The regent made sure to teach Felix all his best tricks to ensure the 21-year-old prince undoubtedly becomes an amazing king. In addition, he also made sure that Felix got his proper training on how to flirt with and get the attention of foreign leaders from Russia to America. What? What? You sleaze! Now I have to deal uh, with father. Our daddy, we'll if you, you later, will. Raj. A dire situation. Large flocks of concerned femboys have been seen running wild across stores across the country with multiple instances of violence in clothing aisles. Concerned government officials in cooperation with the factory owners have come to the conclusion that these accidents are linked to the same problem. A lack of pink dye. The demand for this now luxury resource has caused a massive spike in prices, making pink clothes not just really hard to find, but horribly expensive, which is leading to civil unrest because of grumpy femboys. Are you kidding me? Why? Just take the country. It's already... Well, I mean, it's purple, but s still. Oh, my God. The f oh, my God. I didn't even realize this unit was created. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I think I think this is a more closer uh, depiction of what we got. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. We're going to go with this. The fate of King Ruprecht dealing with father. There's one little secret that Felix has been keeping for some time now. Felix has been keeping his father prisoner by distracting him with the extremely comfortable lifestyle on the mountains. However, now that his father has learned of his sinister intentions, it's time that he should decide what should happen to the monarchy. It's time to make amends abolish the monarchy or he must abdicate okay um so i can become the king and get minus 40 percent for justification cost political advisor cost minus 35 percent hurt the stability make amends um you know what no it's time to make amends i want to fix my relationship with daddy so okay now that we fixed our issue with daddy that leads us to neo diplomacy and father. unlocks the decision to open a dating interface what 
What? Slovenian Dating. immigration border security has noted an increase in Slovenian what? emigres and immigrants at border checkpoints. The local skirt patrol brigades are intercepting many Slovenian parties and caravans attempting to in the process oh, yeah, of crossing wooded yeah. forests and mountains between the border of Fembury and border. other countries. The process of naturalization is slow and supplies of warm humanitarian thigh eyes and cat ears are low as our outdated immigration bureaucracy wanes under the pressure. Um, okay. I guess. Yes, welcome to Femboy Varia, where even our tanks have armored skirts. Okay, Neo Diplomacy. Is there where's my interface? What, what do I what do I get to do? What do I get to do? Is there a decision? Is there is there something that I can do? Oh, here it is. Open dating interface. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can date Stalin! Why? What fresh hell is this? Remember to be on your best behavior like, during why dates. Why is it so, so detailed, bro? Um, give him a cute smile. So no, much shit. He didn't like that. Um, wink suggestively. Perfection, as far as you can tell, he quite enjoyed that. Um, give a head pat? No. Give a hug? No. He didn't like that. Uh, okay, that didn't work. What about FDR? Can I do anything here? Do I have to wait a certain amount of time to be able to do anything? I don't know what the hell to do there, man. So you know what? I'm I'm done with this. It's time to go over here and um, adopt some modern fashion. 1930s fashion for both men and women is ugly. It's time to switch up our style and embrace something more modern. The sounds of cogs echo in the seemingly endless factory complex. Workers shedding blood, sweat, and tears in the vast chambers to keep the fuel machine running. The sheer tons of materials required for production are immense. The ecological disaster grand, but it will be worth it soon because all citizens of Femboy Varia will look so cute in crates of thigh highs that will be shipped off daily. For now, only factory workers will receive shipments, but once they're able to use the naturally infused cuteness to boost their working ability, more shall come across the adorable power. Hour. Add socks, which grants consumer oh, no. goods plus 5% but more staff. I hate this. All right, let's expand the sewing complex. It makes no, no sense. No, no, they even, they even went and modified, oh, I can't speak. They even went and modified the tank designers and everything. Is, does it apply to everything? No, 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 they don't have anything here. Okay, okay, okay. not everything. It's only tanks fashionable skirts armor research imagine it was percent mobile tank designer armor oh my god i'll tell you what my friends these uh these femboys are certainly playing fast and loose if you know what i mean because let's see that's five percent um. armor speed that's five percent speed that's five percent speed this is ten percent speed and this is ten percent more speed for armor this is looking really stupid the above average cuteness yep. has been removed because we're wait what we're no we're no we're not longer cute high cuteness Okay, very. We're, we're, we're extremely cute. Good for you. Can it get any cuter? Today, in a rather ordinary day without any holiday whatsoever, everyone seemed wholesome. Rows of cute men and women flood the streets in hot pink skirts. So cute. Much lovely. Yes. Yes, indeed. Which gives me tier two socks. It's nah, time to use what we've learned now and make new it. tiers of socks, which increases because we're, we're going to have more consumer goods, but more stability, more division or... Oh my God. Bulletproof bows. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? I'm realizing now, but I could give FDR a hundred PP. I can, I, I, I can give FDR a PP in his wheelchair. A hundred of them, if you will. Wait, there's a unique reward for seducing each leader? Then why the hell not? Let's do it. Ooh, ooh your gift was accepted with open arms, but he didn't seem to want anything else. Why am I continuously doing focuses Classic. about just fixing sock? Wait a minute. There's five, six, no, there's seven levels to these socks. What the fuck am I even doing? We don't have rocket launchers in the socks. What? what the fuck am I doing? Tier three, it's just, they're just getting more powerful. Increase, energy. okay, has authorized more cute production. Bro, That's all we can do so for now. Dumb. Can I do anything else? Force the people to do stuff. Plan per perfection. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. Oh my God. I guess this is what we're getting. Perfection. And then since we have 100% cuteness at this point, I think we can unite the adorable forces, whatever the hell that does. We get a united front. What does that do? A decree today was posted proclaiming that all agents of cuteness must unite in their goals. No longer will different factions vie for power. We must all assist each other in unison to defeat the non-cute. Wait a minute. Am I going to remove the non-cute? From men and women to the tiniest kittens to the fluffiest bunnies, from adorable puppies to charming baby pandas, creatures of all shapes and sizes heeded the call to unite. It was an unprecedented unprecedented moment as a diverse array of cuteness ambassadors set aside their differences and embraced a common mission to combat the forces of non-cuteness that threaten their world. Um, yay? What is that? What is no. that? Oh, oh, oh. I get even more stuff. I can recruit tomboy generals. 
<laughs> I can recruit tomboy generals. Femboys and tomboys, let's do this. You know what? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm done with this. I'm done with this, right? We're gonna take the claim state. We're gonna finish this off with you, Germany. And we're gonna start preparing for the fun. Tomboy first, second, and third. What, what did this even create? The tomboy... How is this an elite unit? What is this? No, no, why, why? <laughs> classic. Ah, literally five days. Okay, you know classic. what? Fine, fine. We'll cancel the justification. I won't go after Germany then. Who else could I go after? Here, how about we start justifying on random things like Ireland and whatnot? You came okay, in. Are you going to protect them? What about Norway? Bro. What about Sweden? No, really? You're not going to guarantee any of these? No. <laughs> I'm just getting random people to guarantee shit around the world. Okay, that, that's great. Love it. Absolutely. They already damned. We love it. The femboys are spreading hostility around Europe. All right, we'll cancel our justifications and now find some actual targets that we could potentially go after because we are we're just spiking world tension here at this point. Um, Hungary, you seem like a juicy little target then. And since I can't do anything else, you know what? I, I might as well ask FDR out on a date. Um, does he accept a date with Frank? The US was kind of cool and Frank was really cool. He taught you all sorts of things. He taught you all sorts of things. He taught you how to make a hamburger. <laughs> he taught you how to win an election. He also taught you how to fish. At first he thought it was kind of lame, but he insisted you're first date be a fishing trip so i so wait he caught a bunch of fish and i became chill what the fuck man what is it what do you mean it's a disaster what about vargas okay give him some gifts yeah yeah how about I, i'll ask you on it you declined buddy no hey i i gave you some good gifts how dare you how dare you vargas more. refuse th this Gold digger. i hate me so much right now no, I take it back. I hate me the most right now. Another date with FDR. You're, you and Frank met for your second date. Frank talked about random political stuff, stupid opposition figures, and how silly some of the citizens could be. I laughed, but was uninterested in anything. Okay. Well, it looks like they're going to try and protect Yugoslavia, but you know what? Hungary's not getting any protection. So, hey, Horthy, um, you're not an admiral, and I'm not a woman. It's a match made in hell. And hey, that's very nice. How about we consolidate and go after you? You look very concerned. I would be too if I saw that face. I just stole a bunch of planes, which just added 300 planes to my stockpile. Oh my God. Okay, well, since we stole those planes, might as well have a concert with them, I guess. And hey, since we seem to have 100% support in Ukraine and the caucuses for Russia, um, no how about way. we go ahead and create a new fem nation in Sevastopol? No, the Holy Order bro. of Headpats. A, ma a man, I was a right. man has become quite powerful in Eastern European territories dominated by Russian influence. Nation. This man, once named Ivan, now goes by a different name. They call him the Pat, Pat, Patriarch. His cult has finally seized power and the gospel soon be preached throughout all of Russia. We must support them. We wish them the best. Uh, yeah, no, definitely gonna support them. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's some great stuff. Um, pink Russia, what the fuck, man? Our cute comrades switched. I could just switch over and play Russia now if I wanted to. Um, okay, uh, no, we're not doing that because I want to go on a date. FDR, love me. No! Czechoslovakia is now also guaranteed by... Okay, okay all right, bro. but that means they're... That means if I fought Czechoslovakia, I, I'd be also be fighting against the allies. And I, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> because if I go and fight Romania, Romania is also guaranteed by France. Classic. Which means I'm, I'm blocked, aren't I? I'm, I'm, I'm blocked. Okay. Um, thanks, I guess. What would a more perfect pink do? A surprisingly large number of buildings within Femboy Vera have recently been painted various shades of pink and purple. It's been an interesting development, but while some have resisted the changes, it's hard not to but smile at the country's newfound beauty. More is sure to change as the years go on. As we're, oh my God, we're developing our safety. Are you kidding me? The great Femboy Vera patch. This is all focused on internal development. Okay, screw it. We're not just fucking at anything, all right? We're focusing only on our cuteness. I want to see what this does. Technology. Glitter kids. <laughs> just fuck firing glitter at the enemy. Ah, I hate myself. All right, FDR. Me too. Uh, one final date. For your third date, you met in the Great Oval Office. It was very nice and professional. And for the first time, you were somewhere where none of your silly FBI agents would be listening. You sat on the table and the two of you talked for hours about the nuclear bomb. You thought it was really cool, but he kept insisting it was a terrible weapon. Hey, I just hope you would never use it. But explosions are still cool. <laughs> 
You try to explain to him how much you love sparkles and fireworks, but he didn't seem to understand. After five minutes of awkwardness, he finally opened up. He was jealous. He thought you loved nukes more than him. Simple as that. Shocked, you told him that was obviously wrong before pulling him in for a kiss. Add the best trade deal. <laughs> adds the best trade deal in the history of trade deals which reduces my consumer goods increases my constructions oh my that god that is so wait, good wait do i get these bonuses for seducing all of them Bro. stalin papa let me love you okay it now it's time to so increase OP. enemy distraction the next tier of socks will be designed to distract enemies tricking you them into casing them oh no, there goes the soviet union after poland okay wait is poland guaranteed by anybody is it gonna oh it's in the allies <laughs> It's in the Allies. The war actually breaks out. Don't worry. Oh, so that boy Bavaria is just here being cute. And then we can host a pageant. We're just going to increase my supply efficiency. Okay. A date with Stalin. It was a sunny day when you and Joseph Stalin first met. It was beautiful. Munich was beautiful. And Stalin was beautiful. He talked for hours about the glorious Communist Manifesto, the great work of Lenin, the treachery of Trotsky. When the purges got brought up, he claimed he only did them for you so that the two of you could live in a safe world. You held hands as the sun set and the sky was filled what? with red. Hot. What about a second date? No? Oh, he's declining. Okay. Performance enhancing fiber. The next year of socks will increase movement speed and production efficiency. Italy, Italy joins the common turn. <laughs> They're going after him too. They're going to attack France. Oh my lord. Oh, Fargus. Fargus also Italy. declining my offer. Really? All right. All right. I'll give you a bunch of gifts. Now ask on a No! Stalin, stop declining my love. A pink no russia declares war on turkey no help the turkish femboys establish a new what? state let's do it yes yes there we go second date you and stalin both met at a cafe for your second date stalin talked a lot about random political stuff stupid opposition figures and what how happened to turkey and i laughed oh how cute how cute how fuck? nice just keep on giving him lots of gifts all right lots of gifts <laughs> i need nah. more guns so i can give them as gifts to world leaders oh, so, so I can take war and it became Russian femboy. Them on dates. What is wrong Fuck. with my life? All right, another one. One final date. Yes, yes, Stalin. Wow, it's already your third date with the man himself. You're put on the prettiest dress you had, and Stalin put on his very formal white military uniform. He laughed as you teased him about how terrible the infrastructure situation in Russia was. He assured you his countless supply of manpower would surely make up for the lack of industrial development. And as the sun set, you shared a milkshake and talked about the Russian Civil War. His words seemed to become mute and fade to dust as you were mesmerized by the conviction in his tone. Every syllable pronounced perfectly in a language you didn't really understand that well. It was something you would never forget. So fluid, so tender. Then suddenly a man burst into the room. This man was no ordinary man. It was Leon Trotsky. Impossible, Stalin shouted. Trotsky then pulled out a bun, a bun, a bun, a gun, a gun, and pointed it at your lover. Run? Um, uh, what? Quick, jump in front of the bullet. You flung yourself in the way of Trotsky's gun, but before you could react, Leon Trotsky was already on the ground, stabbed in the back by an ice pick. He said some mean bad guy words before biting the dust. For a second, you and Stalin stood there, looking at each other. He then slowly brushed the dust off of his uniform and stood up. He ice walked over pick? And shook was that a spy the reference? NKVD agent and turned to you. He couldn't stop apologizing for how things went. He was genuinely sad. You could even notice a tear streaming down his face. Even after being seconds away from a brutal end, he could only think about you. Wee wee, hmm. Stalin, John, don't worry. You said that you pulled him in for a kiss. And the, wait a minute. I'm getting a I'm stealing a million manpower what? from the Soviet Union. What? Pageant time. Today, a massive pageant was organized in Bavaria. Almost everyone in the country participated. It was terribly organized, so the judging was inconsistent. There wasn't actually a winner or anything, but it was super fun and more to come. And you can organize pageants every week. Oh no, Poland. You just, you weren't cute enough, buddy. You weren't cute enough. Oh, Tier Poland four still got socks. 10% division speed, 3% organization, 2% production, equipment speed, <clears throat> ship refitting speed. What? The bonuses. Just, just stack more bonuses. Ask Vargas on a date. A date with Vargas. Brazil was a beautiful place. Vargas personally led you on a tour of Rio. He even paid for everything. It was pretty sweet. Now the shape-shifting enhancement. Oh my, shape-shifting, immortality, cognitive enhancers. What is going on with our thigh-high socks? A second date with Vargas, yes. United States joins the allies. Oh my God, everyone is fighting. Russia, Turkey, Lee, Sultan Why is this? A what the hell, man? A final date with Vargas. It was time for a final date with the man himself, and you had an important question for him today. Things started off with some small talk and a long. <laughs> hmm. 
long discussion about how everyone in Brazil who didn't like him was stupid. He also kept talking endlessly about how much he loved ruling Brazil. He talked about how much power he had. He talked about how cool it was to be a leader. It was really annoying. So you asked, do you love me more than Brazil? He claimed that yeah. of course he did, but it wasn't very convincing. Are you sure? Prove it. He stood there for a while looking at you thinking, well, I guess there isn't really a way to prove it. Besides giving Brazil to you, it's yours, of course. Please just, no freaking way. <laughs> I seduced Brazil. We now own, oh my God, this man. What is this? What the fuck? 40, they had 48. Wait, how many civvies did they have that we just got? Oh my Lord. Quick, put it all on guns, right? We're gonna need it. We're gonna need lots of stuff. All right, now Linlith, ask on a date. For your first date with Lord Linlith, you visited the town of Linlith Grow. It was an interesting place and Linlith seemed very happy. All right, and we have max cuteness again, which means ultimate cuteness. Research speed 10%, equipment capture ratio, initiative temper. How many bonuses do we stack? The ultimate power of a Dorblex will soon be achieved. Years of planning, eons so of evolution. Soon the fates will be aligned. The sun will shine brighter. Hugs will be tighter. Felix von Vittelsbach has extensive meetings throughout Femboy Varia to ensure people are ready to take this next step. It's been determined that the requisite levels have been met. All systems are active. It's time for parade. The silly parade, the scary parade. Whoa, get a lot of bonuses for this. 10% bonus attack and ord for 60 days by la launching a silly parade. What the fuck, man? One final date. It was time for your final date with the man himself. Linlith finally invited you to India. There, the two of you had a great time, but most importantly, he held a ceremony where he declared that India would be freed from British rule. It would finally be free to make its own choices. And the first choice it would make would be to join Fimbovia. And the British a Raj puppet. becomes a puppet. Oh my God. Oh my god! <laughs> Oswald Wolseley. Oh, that is that is some creepy stuff, man. Tier five socks. It may hurt my stability, but by God, is it gonna give us even more bonuses? All right, here, Hito. You're the only one left that hasn't been kissed. Don't you decline me? I don't know how to take no for an answer. No, no, seriously. I um, I really don't. No. Infinite storage. The next tier of socks will be able to store an infinite amount of belongings without ruining their appearance. Okay. A date with Hirohito. For the first date, Hirohito went all out. The two of you went on a tour of the Pacific with the pride of his fleet, the Yamato. All the staff made sure you no. and the emperor received the most luxurious treatment possible. It did, however, feel a little Just weird having cheap, all the soldiers bro, treat him it. like he was a god. For future dates, you're thinking maybe he should stay away from his military subordinates. Just keep on giving him all my fighters, give him everything I possibly can. Behold, Pink Russia is now ready to take on all of Russia and fulfill its destiny. All that remains is the question of what future it wants to establish. One where the patriarch rules supreme, or one where the fellows fighting the good fight shape the nation together. Uh, the harbinger rules above all, clearly it's the holy femboy. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Speaking of which, love me. The yes. What? One final date. It was time for one final date with Hirohito. You both met on a beautiful island. He even said that he'd give you a gift. You blushed and gladly accepted this new land to start a Japanese collaboration government in. You talked for <clears throat> hours, but the entire time it seemed that there was something he wanted to tell you. Every word had another hidden behind it. His thoughts seemed to scramble around whatever he was truly trying to say. And then as the sun began to rise, he finally said, I want to make you the Empress of Japan. What? Yes, I want to make you the Empress of Japan. I know it's a little out there, but I think it'll be really cool. It took a few more hours for him to explain exactly what he meant, but in the end, you thought it was really nice of him to want to give you a cool title like that. Nice. Wait, I'm not, I'm only, it's, it's a title. 20% division attack. What the fuck? What? Oh my God, we did it. We seduced all the leaders. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so dumb. Germany demands economic subjugation. In Germany's next big bad move, they demand that we give them a lot of money. If we do this, they won't invade us, but it'll be bad either way. No, why Why can I not refuse? Hey, hey. Flight ca flight capabilities. The next year of Socks will experimental flight tech that allow the users to have some flight abilities? What the fuck is going on? Oh, oh buddy. Will have, you have abilities. no idea what is coming. Me, I'm um I I don't want to say that phrase while looking at this picture. Tier six socks modify modify by five percent more speed, three percent more org, lose more stability, plus ten percent more attack. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, so uh, what's after that? Infinite comfort, a plasma field, teleportation chip, and then no tears. Way, oh my lose. freaking god! And I'm losing all my civilian factories. Um, well, oh, you yeah, know I what? I think it's it. finally time that we take them back. Let's do it, baby. Let's go.
The Femmes Unite! Oh my god, we have so many bonuses. <laughs> hold on, hold on, how much do I even have? Uh, okay, the fort is obviously hurting, but hold on, where, where, are we, where is one where we're winning? Plus 60% attack bonus based off country. Yes, that's what I'm talking 60. about. Oh my god, we are just blitzing through. We are just blitzing through. <laughs> yes, there goes Germany. Germany collapses. No one can handle the cuteness. The Netherlands collapses too. Oh, down they go. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. No, it I is. just took this land, damn it. Quick, launch a silly parade and a scary parade. France is gone. Now push in the north again. This is so stupid. They move so fast. How are they moving so fast? Oh my God, we have so many bonuses to speed. This is so dumb. And my friends, with the fall of France and everything else, that means that we can form the pink empire. And boy, very, uh, I just, can't i can't even read it we're gonna get chorus on all this i don't i don't even want to look at it yeah yeah there goes pink russia declaring on the soviet union which means it joins the allies and even though they're 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 femme they're they're they're, they're, they're i guess not boy them. they're just whatever the hell this is now and there it is the pink empire uh, my friends i give you the effeminate empire of bavaria i um I, I, I don't know what else to make of this, guys. Uh, I This is so cursed. I didn't even complete everything here. Uh, I could have switched to Russia and played that. Oceans exist inside. is a thing, apparently. I would have gotten even more division speed and org and everything else if I had gone over and done the, the tier seven socks. But um I, I, I think that's it. I think that I've done enough of this mod. I My eyes are currently bleeding and I need more to go uh, figure out how to restart my brain. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, I think that we're done here. Everyone, this has been Stucky with another Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. Yes, I have Old World Blues. That's a good mod. I played it a lot, actually, on stream. I think you were here as well, but... Were you? I feel like you were here. Yeah, you missed out. Um, I guess I'll continue Sims for a bit. Yeah, I was, so uh, definitely something. I'm um, about to pass out. Guess I'm breaking in. Now our fears and endured the pain. I I guess yeah. You could say that. We strong. That was a bust. Come on, you're an expert at this. What the fuck? You keep fucking it up. Roy. You're Max a burglary. Actual good link. Um. Sure, but I'll give you like uh, 20 minutes, like maximum length. <laughs> Wait, you were about to say that? Nice. Hey. <laughs> Good time joining. You you just missed the cringe. And I pissed and shit myself. Can you break in, bruh? Damn. Yeah. How you doing, Sabin? Nah. That was horrible. There you go. Oh, we need to sleep. Ooh, that's a nice place to sleep. <laughs> I 
I'm doing, uh, I guess I'm doing normal now. <laughs> I was good. How about you, Sabin? And take a bath. You're good. That's what's up. Ah. Living like a millionaire. Wish that was my house. This shit looks expensive. Paintings. Hmm. It's an annoying piece of shit. <coughs> I mean, yeah. Surely he'll grow out of it, though. Give it time. Add money to a vault. The fuck? Empty vault. I guess it makes sense. No one lives here. No. Who the f Someone's home. I thought no one lived here. Well, time to die. Let's do a... Still a good old tombstone. Time to die. Death has come. <laughs> I just disappeared her. Okay then. <laughs> I think there was like no space to do that killing move. That sucks. Welcome back. One eye up. Wake the fuck up. I want to sleep, man. I ain't waking Wake up. Wake the fuck up! Bro, got no computer. What kind of shithole is this? Can't miss the statues. Thingies. Grand Canyon. Yup. Someone gave you a sub. Nice. On your birthday as well. What's the chance of that happening?
Oh, you never watched the stream. <laughs> oh well. Go to. Hmm. Nah, I said. I said birthday. Nah, I reminded you. I don't think you would remember it, Saban. Damn, I'm... Okay. I guess they're cool. I feel like you missed something. How the babies doing? All good? What the fuck? I thought you'd getting taken care of. Uh, Ben? Ben is not looking too good. Can you feed Ben? Emotes, yo. Hey, Novak, what's up? What? Bro, this fucking... Can you not? Are you serious? Brother. I think just check infant. That that does it, right? You're fine. Uh, that's it. Was better than this. Ah, bro. Shit in my ass. Ugh. Can you change the fucking diaper? There you go. Did I read you? Uh, it's called Pressure. Tomorrow's another Roblox horror game. Oh, uh, you got a Roblox horror game? Uh, the, the, the. Horror Friday tomorrow, huh? Bro, I know daddy, bro. Galvachalbo. <laughs> You ain't gonna feed him. <laughs> yeah. Little bro is hungry. Best believe. Oh, age up. Birthday. It's Ben's birthday. Say, Ben, what are you? What are we doing? What are we doing today? We fall to go to her. Alright. Ben aged up. Kitty! 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 Um. What say Klingy? Oh. Crazy Afro. Got it from me. I just need a minute. And I just need a minute. Wait, what? Ow! Uh, bro, still hungry though. Can you, f bro, like make some food, bro? What about Caitlyn? Is she growing up too? No. 
Today is Madness Day. It is. How's Michael doing? Uh, he shit it himself. Well, happy Madness Day as well. For us. Interesting. Can you check on Michael? He shit it himself. Oh, we can age up. Yo, happy Madness Day. You're feeding Bang, right? Or what are we doing? Yeah. That is a good question. Oh, oh yes, enough. Can you age up? Michael, happy birthday. Oh, Ina. <laughs> um, we'll do intense. Why is Nikki always basically right? What do you mean, right? No, you're dumb. You mean naked? Yeah, I don't know. What is the cat doing? Or I mean pussy doing? Yo, fine, you're fine, you're fine. Kitty! Right. Can we change like the clothing style? Uh -huh. Kitty! Kitty! A microwave in a meal. Wait, but the food. Wasn't it twenty second though? Twenty twenty two. Uh, not today. That's why I'm kinda confused. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is twenty two. <laughs> Yips. Uh when new Pussy What are you doing on the table? Coming up. Yeah. 22. Why do you think it was today, though? Yeah, 22. Uniata Bursharb. Wait, wasn't someone hungry? No, we're fine. Fuma! Uh, <laughs> Right. Wake the fuck up! <laughs> I think you were dreaming or something. It's not the same day. I, yeah, 22. Wait, is the kitty hungry? Should Ben and Nikki have a supportive family dynamic? Sure. Why not? Who's calling? Dolores is wondering... I want to go over Bang. to her house and hang out. Uh... Oh, if Nikki wants to. Now nah, we don't got time right now. That feels so. Sipane Fraz, Sinoche, Goribane Unkem Lamina. Now this is good on food. Maybe Sapinario. Cat was bugging. And why are we not cleaning this shit up? Everything is stinky, bro. 
This feels so weird. Oh. You always thought it was on your, your birthday. Oh well. Uh, is the stove on? If it's on, then this shit burning. Are you twerking? What's Ben doing? <laughs> hey, nah, bro. What is Ben doing, bro? What are you do, <laughs> bro? Doing silly dance. You better be a silly dance. Dirty man, bro. Michael is just knocked out. What are you doing? We need a third bed, no? Or is Caitlyn old enough to sleep on a bed bed? I don't think so. Well, that's that's just crazy for you. Not sad, just shocked. Well, it happens. I'm the third bread here too. Teaching, all right. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. Yeah. Eating some noodles. Uh -huh. Check infant. Uh -huh. Hey, W parenting. So teaching Michael to walk. Uh, bro, bro, bro is stinking. I'm checking on them anyway. Alright. <laughs> Stinky boy. Time to take a bath. <laughs> Bro is on demon mode. Take a bath, stinky boy. <laughs> you should check on Caitlin. Uh oh, stinky. But we got so many spoiled food just laying around. Tessa. And I gotta take a shit. First bath. Alright. Does your daughter have short hair? She got a. Uh, she got a uh, low taper fade. Why not? Nah, actually, can we change it, though? <laughs> there should be a way oh. to change, like, hair. Yeah, there you go. These were, like, randomized. We should probably, like... <laughs> yeah. Dress them up. All right, Ben first. Crazy Afro. No, you need you need that little taper fade. There you go, Ben. Do 
Nice black t shirt. Bro can just be on his <laughs> diapers. <laughs> that is funny. Nah, bro. Oh, normal day and day clothing. Little taper fade. There, Pine Nuts of Freddy's stays in diapers and no pants every day. FNAF reference. From sudden shock or relation. <laughs> it happens. Let me just do the daily things first real quick. Caitlin. There you go. Oh. After 20 minutes. Uh. That's cute. No. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. Chill like that. Hi, right, Michael. For you added the pigtails. Oh. Mm. Nico Avocado. Uh, I'll stop. Honestly, that's fine. Pussy. Wait, should we change pussy? Yeah, him, uh, he's skinny now. Now, putting clothes on is kind of dumb. That's just torture. We can pull, like, a... collar or something. Yep, two steps ahead. Do we change? No, okay, fair enough. So cute, man. Aww. This allowed word. Been the greatest social experiment. Yeah, he fooled everyone. Pussy is disallowed. Man, I don't care though. It won't be published, but we can still play. I don't care about publishing. No, the cow. Pussy. It just said you can't publish it publicly. Bro, like, why we got trash laying around? Cat is eating all the trash, bro. Bro. Kitty! Kitty! Wake the fuck up! Bro, we need to clean up. There's so much shit everywhere. The cat's just gonna fucking die. And that's a hazard. That's a fucking hazard. GG. 
Yeah, there is trash everywhere. Honestly, bro, we need to... <laughs> we have so much trash, but the queue is full. Babies, man. That's what happened. Hire a guy to clean for you. Honestly, fuck it, yeah. You're right. That's probably easier. Babysitter was asked, but surely it's easy to clean up. An acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Bro, shut up, bro. Why are you talking to my ops? Pussy boy. Higher service. Scheduled maid. Fuck it. Maid, right? Yeah, maid. They can all walk except Michael. Michael is sleeping. I mean, yeah, I do have the money. Can you put Michael to bed or something? Put in the crib. He laying on the ground, bro. Imagine not walking. I mean, he needs to learn to walk. Teach him next time he's awake. Now he needs to have a birthday. That's it. I just had to go and get him. Fair. Oh, I thought this was gonna be Michael's bed. Oh, we need. Fuck. Um. We don't need this. We need another this for Ben. There you go. No, I don't need a bed bed. They're still too young. <laughs> Spare another 10. So only those or? Oh, man, let's sneak. Pink bed for Ben. And I just copied so it was easier and changed color. Come over and hang out? Sure, come over. Can you help up and clean up the house? Ooh, malice. Uh, you need to go to work. I know you're watching over, but uh... Work is calling. Can you sleep in the basement bedroom? Nope. Too young. And the beds are uh... For older. Read spam. Ten as another minute if you got something else. Oh. So I'll wait ten minutes. Oh, what do you mean? What the fuck happened here? You need more than four minutes. You have extra. Now I'm confusion. So do I react to the links now or? So we have to watch. Doing the game. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Got it. Ben is playful. Oh, you need to sleep, bruh. No time for playtime. Oh, 
out of water. Bang. Bang. Uh, you need to sleep as well. Are you going to sleep by yourself? Kinda. Fair enough. W. Caitlin. <laughs> Almost there. You love these emotes? I'm. <laughs> Bro got the pink bed. Unlucky. <laughs> Bro got the pink bed. Aw, tuck in. Then pink, I don't know, it auto went there for some reason. Uh, you should check on Michael. Wake you up. Bro, what is pussy doing? Where is the maid, bruh? Cause he used pink. What? Very hungry. I'm literally about to feed you. Um. Can you feed Michael? That's Michael. Michael is the youngest. How do you not know Michael, bro? Worth the try. What? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Guess I'll check the links. On the floor. He's literally sleeping. Skip. Fuck you mean on the... No, you say Michael. Wait, what? Whatever. <laughs> What's in a fall of TV shows? Let's see our Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. the Walt sound effects. Ripping the band-aid off, Bethesda's ruining Fallout. By saying this, a lot of you just went, yeah, and the sky is blue, while the majority of others just went, erm, what are you talking about? Have you seen Dude, the overall the sales and recent out. Steam charts and recent popularity? So, to explain what I'm saying, I need to acknowledge that at one point in time, Bethesda saved Fallout. When the company Interplay slash Black Isle that made the first two games went bankrupt, Bethesda took the IP under its wing and created Fallout 3, which was a lot of people's entry to the series. Then in 2015, it happened again on the PS4 and Xbox One. 
with Fallout 4, bringing an entire new generation to something even more accessible than Fallout 3, which was even more accessible than Fallout 2. And then later you got to watch a bunch of fun videos about Fallout 76. And now in 2024, a new Fallout TV show has boosted up all the yeah, games and brought people who even play video games to Fallout. Fallout in general is popular, but is now only so popular due to momentum. The momentum of a new show, but when that dust settled, what was revealed is now a big wasteland. Ironically, a wasteland for Fallout. So despite the big numbers Wait, and everyone the show playing the games again, Fallout? Bethesda is still ruining Fallout right now, in real time. I mean, Not because they made classic. games that some people don't like, but even more cynical reasons. Greed, jealousy, yeah. entitlement. All behind the coddling of laziness, pride, and hypocrisy. Defended by the veil of success, love, and validation. And if someone doesn't interfere soon, the IP will be consumed by the sands of the wasteland. So let's go down this rabbit hole of why Bethesda is ruining Fallout. Also subscribe. Todd said that if we get enough of these, we might get a new- Code 3, Mobile Gold, Fallout 4, fuck yourself. New Vegas 2, I, I promise. That's what he said. Fallout's never been more popular. You guys are fucking incompetent. Let me ask a question. Who is the face of Activision? Who is the face of EA? Who is the face of Blizzard that isn't in jail? Yes, yes, it's Luka Doncic, you're all correct. Most game companies are ran by shadow people who stack billions and billions while sucking the blood of children. But then there's studios where the main character is the guy you just want to sit down with and have a beautiful cup of coffee. Miyazaki, Hideo Kojima, Gabe Newell when he used to make video games instead of spamming out Steam sales so that he could go on vacation. Also, I think the TF2 community is pretty unhappy with him. And up there is cute little TF2 Todd Behind that leather jacket and false promises is an awkward hunk of love. And it's just a decoy for the real shadow people behind him. Todd is a guy that can constantly make bad decisions, but when you see him in the flesh, you kind of feel bad for the guy because he's just a little dork. If you want an example of this, look at when he got scared at IGN and didn't believe that the Fallout show was a 9 of 10 at first. Because before that, everyone loved his passion project for two weeks before ripping it to shreds and putting him back in the bad boy corner again. I believe that Todd Howard was once a great game director. He had that humble Mike Wazowski background. A guy who was persistent and had to work hard to get to where he is. He was turned yeah. down from Bethesda and told and to finish school cooked. first. Where he then finished school and got told to kick rocks because there's no more jobs available. And after persistence, he finally got to work at the company and climbed his way up the ranks. He failed and well, succeeded he kinda multiple does, times. Yeah. But as we've now seen through the years, that once humble Michael Scott has never realized no hair. The irritating thing about Todd and Bethesda is that they're also the luckiest game developers of all time. They're the only studio that constantly gets bailed out of mediocrity having it be swept under the rug. And I used to think this was only a recent Bethesda thing, but with hindsight observation, this has always happened. Valve games have stood yeah, the test true. of time from groundbreaking mechanics and innovation, with the biggest critique being that they don't make games anymore because of the success of Steam. And in the case of TF2 recently, value monetization more than their current online games. But as we saw recently with the game like Half-Life Alex, Valve still makes games when they want to innovate and push new technologies. Bethesda is not Valve. They are constantly being bested by other studios and have no competition, which has made them incredibly stubborn and borderline delusional. Bethesda yeah, in their honestly, Fallout 4, um, or any Fallout games, honestly, they are, um, the modding community is helping a lot. It's the modding community to keep the games so what alive. Prime was a hungry and driven game studio, wanting to make the best action-adventure games with some of those old RPG elements. Elder Scrolls was an original yeah. IP that was constantly evolving. Daggerfall, Morrowind, Oblivion, Would have with been Oblivion being a big step up from Morrowind. While Bethesda was going on this run, Interplay's role-playing games like Baldur's Gate and Fallout were collecting dust. Since gaming was evolving, and Interplay saw no profitability making look-down-and-death RPG games. But then comes in a senior, Todd Howard, who likes the look of Fallout and the aesthetic of Fallout, and said by him himself, if this thing's just gonna collect dust, let me play with it. A bunch of the people who run the company knew the people at Interplay, and we... We pestered him and pestered him, like, are you guys using Fallout? They weren't doing anything with it. Keep this clip saved in the back of your brain because it's really funny with hindsight. I love those dear <laughs> three is the Archduke assassination of Bethesda, being the first domino to what's wrong with them now. But at the time, this looked like the beginning of a money glitch. After getting the IP, Fallout 3 was made from the imagination of Bethesda, then quickly became the studio's most successful I like the first game. I love the exploration, the VAT system, and the gore. To the mainstream, it was the first ever post-apocalyptic game in the accessible format. It was a world that you could get distracted in for hours, that had this illusion of choice and scale. It wasn't intimidating or unappealing to the masses like the first two Fallout games, but there was objective 
effectively a lack of quality in its RPG elements. Fallout 1 and 2 are real RPG games, and that was the main appeal of Fallout before Bethesda took over, where then Fallout became a more linear RPG, more fascinated with exploration and action. So that created a vocal critique to Bethesda, which at the time was tossing a stone at the guy who ruled the world. Fallout had a monopoly on the RPG genre. When people weren't playing Halo 3 for multiplayer or Gears of War, they were playing Fallout 3 for their single player itch. Not many knew the quality of a game like Fallout 2, so who cares if Fallout 3 is linear and poorly written? It's the only game I've played, and with no competition, it's fun to use VATS and explore the wasteland. And yeah. people loved it. Bethesda was revered and Todd Howard was a new god. So Todd sat down and thought to himself, let's make Fallout 3, but in Elder Scrolls. And Zenimax didn't like that. What? We'll post it on Discord, if not... Fallout then, uh, was a hit, so why go GG. off the grid and make a game and have the IP collect dust? And luckily, there was people who wanted to make a Fallout it's not game a horror and had some experience with the IP. Originally, an expansion was going to get outsourced for Fallout 3 while Skyrim was being made, but Todd Howard convinced Zenimax to make an entire new Fallout game, made by Obsidian Entertainment, which was a studio that had a lot of people that previously worked for Interplay and were on the development team for Fallout 2. New Vegas was made from the skeleton of Interplay's Fallout 3 that was scrapped due to the company's financial struggle. And before New Vegas, they made Knights of the Old Republic 2. That was rushed, so they didn't have time to fully scale that game to their vision but still pulled it off luckily that will never happen again right oh he already that was the same one oh, okay Rod's just trolling it was the same one Yippee oh mark when the face it followed director comes pauses pause please Wait, what? When the follow director pause then. Behind the minds of Josh Sawyer, John Gonzalez, Chris Avalone, Fergus Urquhart, and many more came Fallout New Vegas, a game made for the in-between period of Skyrim, with an 18-month window. This game even existing is not only impressive, but also displays the massive problem with Bethesda. Obsidian's tight deadlines show that even under pressure, if you could write something good and really love what you're making, that everything else will fall into place. And the stuff that doesn't fall into place will be viewed forever with the lens of, what would this game be like if they had three years to make it? New Vegas is made with the consideration of Fallout 3. The developers even say that the Fallout 3 formula is why the mainstream enjoy Fallout. So instead of discarding Bethesda's format and game style, their goal was to improve everything from the third game and build upon it, with the limited time they had. Gunplay, customization, skill trees, roleplay, writing, Fallout New Vegas is a collaboration of Fallout 2 and 3. Taking the care of fun and roleplay from Black Isle, and collaborating with the fun and wonder of Bethesda, New Vegas is a true gem that mastered the Fallout style, becoming the poster boy of what an RPG should be, and it wasn't even made to its full potential due to the crunch and tight deadline. There's so many video essays and breakdowns you could watch going over the incredible details of New Vegas, but even playing it for yourself and committing to it, you will quickly see that New Vegas is a game that has never been replicated again. Because instead of choosing to be pretty and shiny on the outside, they instead chose to be shiny and pretty on the inside, which is why Bethesda hates this game. Wait, what? With the revisionism of the Fallout fanbase, some are attempting to rewrite history and gaslight the narrative around New Vegas. That Todd doesn't hate the game, that he actually loves the game, that all Fallouts are masterpieces in their own way. And while the idea of holding hands and seeing Kumbaya around the fire is beautiful and brings a single tear to my eye, I live- So Todd? Boy, what an RPG should be, and it wasn't even made to its full potential due to the crunch and tight deadline. There's so many video essays and breakdowns you can watch going over the incredible details of New Vegas, but even playing it for yourself and committing to it, you will quickly see that New Vegas is a game that has never been replicated again. Because instead of choosing to be pretty and shiny on the outside, they instead chose to be shiny and pretty on the inside, which is why Bethesda hates this game. With the revisionism of the Fallout fanbase, some are attempting to rewrite history and gaslight the narrative around New Vegas. That Todd does- Huh?
doesn't hate the game. Nah, 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 never mind. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. No structure is different. Chin is different. The hair color is different. P size is different, yep. And that he actually loves the game, that all fallouts are masterpieces in their own way. And while the idea of holding hands and singing Kumbaya <laughs> around the fire is beautiful and brings a single tear to my eye, I live in a place called reality, where we don't always shed a single tear at every rainbow. Todd has recently praised New Vegas. It would make sense that after 14 years, he would now praise the game in the spotlight, since he's using its identity as his new meat puppet to make people get excited after years of downplaying it. The creator of New Vegas has stated, I don't feel like it's healthy for me to be really invested in something I have no control over. This was after he was asked about Fallout New Vegas' role in the Fallout show. Also, the writer of New Vegas is not happy about certain decisions that have been made, and has been vocally critiquing the show as well. So to state that there's a two-way street of friendship and respect just makes no sense. Obsidian has been getting screwed over by Bethesda for a while. Because of the big crunch, New Vegas was insanely buggy at launch and had trouble running on that current Window. generation's hardware. If only had an extra year like Starfield to patch it? bugs, because that was clearly the only problem that game had. So because of this rough launch, its critic scores were affected, which put them one point below the yeah, get banned, I'm bonus. good. Yes, the bonus for the team that crunched this game in 18 months was in the hands of subjective reviewers that didn't get to meet the bonus requirement due to the rush launch that made it lower in scores. It's almost like the game was rigged from the start. So yeah, fuck that bonus. The game didn't get as high of scores as Fallout 3, but the noise and praise were higher than Fallout 3 for sure. The vast details and choice in New Vegas made Fallout 3 its bitch. A real RPG, a game where you could actually carve out your destiny, a game with real consequences and choices while also being a more in-depth fun shoot. Shooter. New Vegas quickly became the poster child for what a video game should be, and its humble roots even made it more beloved in history. What these guys did in 18 months, Bro, most people can't okay. even do today with four years. I like Cyberpunk as well, but like Jesus, imagine that budget and time in these guys' hands. With the success, mm. there was a change in Todd. The little nerd who loved video games got angry. He got bitter. He stuck his neck out for this thing to be made. He originally wanted Interplay to share the IP so that Bethesda could have fun. Well, now he did the same thing back and got upstaged. Then after this, Todd released. Skyrim. Wait, New Vegas is really the best Call of game? At least Skyrim, and it became the biggest game of all time. Skyrim was the peak good. of Bethesda style. Skyrim scaled back even more from Fallout 3 in terms of roleplay and doubled down on the vision of being an action RPG. And in the result of that, Skyrim was a huge success. It's weird looking at Skyrim from a modern viewpoint because while Skyrim truly changed gaming, Bethesda also learned all the wrong lessons from its success. Skyrim is a really bad RPG, especially compared to KOTOR, KOTOR 2, New Vegas, but it was the spark of action adventure games. At the time, Skyrim was a lot of people's first time ever really feeling like they were in a fantasy world that they could explore and be powerful. In, similar to how people felt with Fallout 3. Nowadays, the combat is jank, the skill tree is overpowered, making you a god with no consequence, and yeah, the RPG is down to pick A or B side and eventually everything falls into place. But compared to Fallout 3, New Vegas, and even Red Dead 1 to an extent, it was magical, pretty, and huge. I quoted this from Joseph Anderson in my Starfield video, but Skyrim is a shallow puddle, but it's just so much fun to splash in. Wait, I look at Skyrim with cynicism now, because as good as huh. Skyrim was, it's aged and everybody has done something better than that game since. Skyrim was way more it's successful fun, though, and popular Skyrim. than Red Dead 1. One, but Rockstar ended up making Red Dead 2, which some say is the most immersive open world game of all yeah, time. Red Dead that Dark 2. Souls game that came out in 2011, yeah, that studio made Elden Ring. The point is that there's been a lot of evolution in gaming since then. And while studios have been upping their A game, Bethesda has been on nothing but a downfall. After the success of Skyrim, Bethesda got an ego. Todd made the most successful game ever by doubling down on what people said he was doing wrong after the comparison of New Vegas and Fallout 3. So he was going to do what he did before again and trust his gut. He was going to bring that Skyrim mindset to Fallout again, scale back 
back even more on that Your RPG lonely. element what? and get even more linear. They're gonna stay on the same engine, they're gonna do what others can't. They're gonna make a Bethesda game. Because Bethesda games are something no one else can make but Bethesda. Bethesda became secluded. Just Instead of sports. spreading out and being charitable, giving people cracks at different visions under their IPs like they once did, they became a studio of doubling down on their independent visions. A huge complaint of New Vegas today is that it feels janky and old. And yeah, that's true. God willing, you will not leave this valley. It even felt old in 2010. And since New Vegas, Bethesda and Obsidian haven't collaborated. So Obsidian never got to make a more modern game. Which also makes no sense. Even with Fallout New Vegas not selling as much as 3, the game is still revered as the greatest RPG of all time, and still sold well for Bethesda standards. The gap between hmm. Skyrim and Fallout 4 would be from 2011 to 2015. I'm in not the timeline, Skyrim was just recently the biggest game ever. Bethesda had clout and cash, and now Bethesda had time. And between those four years was radio silence. Even from a business standpoint, it makes no sense. Give me In the past, Zenimax was asking for more Fallout when Fallout 3 was a success. So that's why New Vegas was on that crunch to chase that high, which it did. And then after New Vegas, you have Skyrim being the biggest game ever. And being the biggest game ever is followed by no urgency or pursuit. It has to be because Obsidian didn't want to do it anymore, right? After that, Bro, I don't have the game. I have to buy the game. Brug Burger. You do play bowling or like crunch and getting fucked over on that bonus. They were like, no, Oh, you mean you mean bowling? Yeah, hey, Nico, let's go bowling. It's with a W. Let's not do it anymore. Nope. Chris Avalon, the writer for New Vegas, yeah. states that New Vegas 2 was pitched and denied. When asked why Bethesda said no, he said that that question has kept him awake at nights for years. And then states that the team repeatedly asked to do an Elder Scrolls spinoff in the style of Fallout New Vegas, or anything in the Fallout world for years, to then be told nope again. He even pitched it the same way. So this brings up boogeyman claims of why Obsidian didn't work on anything for Bethesda. Claim 1. The game being buggy brought a negative reputation. Bro. This is bullshit. Yeah. Bethesda games have always had the reputation of being notoriously buggy. Skyrim had a buggy launch, and even years later, we'd see this again with Fallout 4 and 76. And even besides the bugs, we've seen a game like Starfield that was almost spotless Bro. still be disliked. It's a shadow claim that I don't believe. It objectively makes no sense. In ZeniMax's interest of making more money, they benefit by having more games to make more money. Fallout New Vegas was revered as one of the greatest games of all time, so it wouldn't even like, be- Like, I don't get it. Why not make a good game? Then you will get a lot of money. Like, how difficult is that? Problem in terms of quality right. of care. And now you have a four year window of nothing going on. And when you had this exact situation and worked the first time, New Vegas The Gap Game was a hit. Then Skyrim After was your biggest hit. For ZeniMax to now stop production at the high of Bethesda just makes no sense. It's why I know Bethesda had to intervene. Todd's ego of being a sore winner has now hoarded the Fallout IP and the Elder Scrolls El IP, ego. making Bethesda the core developers of both from now on. I think Todd did this to avoid right. Obsidian making any more games. To avoid Obsidian making an Elder Scrolls New Vegas to their Skyrim. So it couldn't once again shit on their parade. But hey, if you're gonna be a mm. go kiss time God with your IPs, just don't mess it up. Fallout 4 was a mixed win. I brought this up in my Starfield video. Fallout 4 made it so that Fallout played more like a modern shooter that isn't from 2005. The gunplay was pretty ass compared to other games at the time, but it's still real gunplay. The world was fun to walk around, you're able to loot, craft, and explore. The plot was horrible, the world building was bad, and the RPG was the worst it's ever been. The launch was also buggy and everything releasing around it was way better. Once again, those assholes who made Dark Souls in 2011, yeah, they just made Bloodborne, you know, one of the greatest games of all time. Witcher 3 came out, also a really good game. But, besides all this, yep. Fallout 4 sold well. It was the best launch for Bethesda ever, actually. Overall, Skyrim is still on top on sales, but in that small release window, Fallout 4 skyrocketed off of anticipation alone. The last Fallout game was five years prior, not including New Vegas, 7. But this is when Todd was flying too close to the sun, because in doing so, it regressed a lot from even Skyrim, which already regressed from previous games. It was too linear and dumb, without care outside of cosplay. Bro. So once again, like Fallout 3, it was on already paper played success, it. selling 13.5 million copies being the most successful in the Fallout series. Fallout 76 was a colossal failure. The pride and lies of Todd catched up to him. He couldn't run from this one. Where New Vegas was a rush game made with love, nah. Fallout 76 was a rush game made with greed. Like Elder Scrolls, instead of letting <laughs> someone else too. ever try to upstage them again, they wanted to keep the IP alive via live service. They scanned people, made false promises, and years later tried to rewrite Yeah, they history. did scam. Because if something doesn't work at Bethesda, it's never a swing and a miss. It's just that people don't get it yet.
So after dropping the ball, what does Bethesda do? Do they finally give yeah, in, stop hoarding the horrible. IPs, and work on their next game, Starfield, while a new Elder Scrolls <laughs> Fallout gets co-developed? Nope. They announced their next Elder Scrolls game in 2018, then they don't release their next game till 2023, and then they start working on that game from 2018 after their 2023 game. Like, and guess what? what? That 2023 mean? game is outdated. It's worse than RPG mechanics from Fallout Just focus 4, and on also Starfield worse than at this point. Bethesda though. games can be enjoyed by people. That's okay. They're dumbed down to be accessible. But because they're so dumbed down, it makes them not great games. So if their games are not amazing, why the fuck are they gatekeeping them so hard? From the time of Fallout 4 to Starfield, From Software released Bloodborne, Bloodborne DLC, Dark Souls better. 3, Dark Souls 3 DLC, a Dark Souls 1 Remake, Sekiro, Elden Ring, DLCs to both of those. It's just uh, Fallout 4 was so old and shit, and Starfield was old and shit. I know studios have a reputation of cracking the whip on developers, but at least after those cracks and brutality, you get a Red Dead Redemption 2, or a Halo 2, or even a New Vegas. Yeah, GTA 6 took forever, and it looks great, and will most likely well, be amazing out, because though. Rockstar hasn't dropped the ball yet on their single player campaigns. So they have the right to go ghost mode and have it be okay because when they come back, you could trust it. Starfield is not a game that takes five years to make, and that's being generous counting 76 that was made with tape and spit. Eight years to work on this piece of shit game? From Skyrim, it's been a downhill slope. Each game is getting worse, and now you want us to be happy that Elder Scrolls 6 is getting made on that same old ass engine with a little bit of polish that still has I'm the console. NPCs being dead on the inside. I have a video about Starfield, but Bethesda doesn't make good enough what games to PC, be this though? In 2021, Microsoft bought ZeniMax Media. So they own Bethesda as a publisher, even though Bethesda operates as its own studio. The purchase was for $7.5 billion. Now, Bethesda is owned by Microsoft. Starfield is a bomb. Your next Elder Scrolls game isn't going to be out for like another five years. So what the hell is yeah. happening with Fallout? <laughs> Tänu parfüümi oli tehnoloogiale, püsib Keske. intensiivne parfüüm sinuga päeva lõpuni. Lenori parfüümiterapia. Kolm korda kaua kestvam värskus. Lisa Lenori kraanuleid, mis toovad koos Joo. Lenori loputusvahendiga kuus korda värskuse koostisosi. Fallout in the current conditions is truly screwed. But you don't think so because Todd gets lucky. He always gets lucky. The Fallout show came out and now oh, Fallout no. is popular. Everyone was playing the games, getting that fix. Now 2015 is the new 2024. And now the West belongs Fuck. to Todd. Now New Vegas, no, as an I'm aesthetic, not. belongs to Todd. Fuck. But where are the games? While everyone's sucking off Fallout 4 again, mind wiping the history of Fallout 76, acting like it's a great game now, it's surprising no one sat down and questioned for a second, why hasn't there been a new RPG since like 2015? And as I've been breaking Bruh. it down, it's because Bethesda is insecure and are sore winners, dreams. and they always get away with it. Even now, how flawed Fallout 4 is, they release a season of a show and all that history of Bethesda's pettiness is wiped away. The failure of Starfield is wiped away. Todd, you aren't a Kanye West album that everyone hates because they aren't ready for. You're a guy who constantly gets bailed out after wasting years making shitty video games while having IPs collect dust, like the CEO guy from Smiling Friends, because you fear that you will get upstaged by people who are better at making games than you, like what happened so long ago with Fallout New Vegas. The Fallout hype is now dead, and you aren't getting an Elder Scrolls game for five years. Then after that, they're gonna have to make a new engine because no way you could get away with it again. Hell, they might be doing that now and Elder Scrolls 6 might take like seven years. Then after that, you're gonna have to wait for another Fallout game, which is gonna be like another five years. So eyeballing it, it's gonna take 12 years to get the next entry to Fallout, which will probably not be good because the head of this Bethesda ship is stubborn, egotistical, and lives off of doubling down on critiques against him to prove a point. While every other studio around him is doing better stuff, while this guy only relies on getting bailed out by fan revisionism. Even CD Projekt Red, after a crash and burn, still made a fun action adventure game that also has bad RPG. While Bethesda were making Starfield, though still has loading screens, dead planets, and outdated combat while doubling down and arguing that people were wrong in Steam reviews. You may need to upgrade your PC for this game, but it's got a lot of great stuff going on in it and the fans are responding awesome. Oh, From 2015 to now, you could have had two four-year developed Fallout games on the same two old ass years. Fallout 4 engine and having them be hits because if New Vegas proved anything from 3, you can have both action, fun, and good stories. You don't only have oh, to no. do one. And if something is great enough in concept, people will brush off its package. Bethesda is truly a gaming cancer. These are not the same guys who made Skyrim and the only reason people like Fallout 4 because nothing oh, else has been released on that same engine no. besides an MMO to compare it to. Microsoft, you have proven to be a spineless, money-hungry company, so wake the fuck up. People like Fallout 
but New Vegas as an in-between game was a success. I know they own Obsidian. It doesn't even have to be them. You can make a new team and rehire the competent people that were left to rot by Bethesda and make a new game. By doing that, people get a new oh. game and you get money. Bethesda does not make good enough games to be such entitled pricks about their IPs. Especially for one they didn't originally create, which is Fallout. Fallout 3 was made because it was people wanting to put a spin on something they enjoyed. And Bethesda gave the same gratitude yeah, back. Did. And then when Obsidian did it better, they got insecure and wanted to prove that they make better video games. And I'm not letting anybody have access to that IP since. Nobody wins. If you like Bethesda's Fallout games, you get no Fallout games by them being elitist. Microsoft, after forking $7 billion and having Fallout now being in the mainstream, gets no money. Johnny Ball Bethesda already knows this, with they could have been viewers. doing something years ago. But keep releasing Johnny patches Balls. nine years later that breaks every mod. Keep getting outclassed by mod. Shit. Appreciate the raid, man. Shout out to Johnny Balls. Modders making passion projects. And in a... Uh, 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 10 minutes? Yeah, we'll, we'll start a jackbox. End of the day, they're winning. They get to play with the meat puppet of something created with love while never sharing again themselves. And they get to be revered for it. I have no love for Bethesda. I think Bethesda sucks and the only way for that company to survive is to get rid of that upper office. But Microsoft isn't competent, so most likely nothing will happen and we will continue the Bethesda like? cycle where the next Elder Baby Scrolls gets a reality now check following. and a lot of people don't like it and Microsoft realizes Baby that the hood has moved the on to FromSoft games. And hopefully they make a change then. But let's be honest, they probably won't. Probably won't. This video was brought to you by the New Vegas Enjoyers. Subscribe for more Skippy Whippy Yapping. Thank you to the Patreons who support the channel. Or should we just start it early? Fuck it. Fuck it. Twenty one. Ryan B. Mullen is here now there. following. But wanted to send you some viewers. Hey, appreciate it, man. Oh. Good luck with work. Or have fun. Oh, and thank you for following our oh, Ryan. What are we playing? Murder Joke? Not sure if I have enough for push, but I'll put push. Quip and all oh, 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 I guess guess. Voting time. Guys, are we still doing it in about an hour? All right, Johnny. And I'm getting a call. Hey, um. Yeah. 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 Ciao. I guess it's murder. Only one vote, but oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? Nine one one. Yeah, nine one one. Uh, they're they're like they uh called me. That's how it works. I'm cooked. LJLP. Were they in a hurricane? I mean, it sounded like a hurricane, but uh, no. It's not even raining. Everyone can join if they want. We got spam and beef. Uh, 
Sabin, you joining? Or Raj? As well? You're eating? Fair enough. Oh, Sabin is eating as well? Oh. Alright, countdown. Oh yeah, spam is VIP. You snooze, you lose. You can join in audience anyways though. Yeah. Welcome to the game. First question. What's the atomic number for helium? Uh... Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Two? It was. The question right? What? Which leaves only you. Time for consequences. Is it like H2O or something, right? Welcome to room two? 113. The hairdryer's broken, sorry. Or, wait, ain't that water? I'm giving you the laziest gift of all. A scratch ticket. Just scratch and find three dollar signs and you get to live. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Wait, scratch spam got away. it? Spam got it. Oh yeah. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for extra dollar signs you find. No risk, no gamble. Fair enough. That's a smart move. Played it pretty safe. Boo. Ooh, you were kind of close. I know I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up that a scratch ticket would kill someone, but what can I say? I'm a hopeless optimist. Yeah. Here's where I keep everybody's scores. I hope you like it. Beef on top right now. Oh, he guessed he got. Let's 100. keep moving. Which of these snacks has a toxic shell? It's a snack. Wait. Uh. Wait. It's that, right? Time's almost up. Who picked this? Cashew? The rest of you, Damn. come with me. No clue. Bonjour. Welcome back to the killing room. Let's play with dice. Oh. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score, but go over 21 and More you gamble. die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. Yippee. It's kind of spooky to see skulls on dice. Ooh. Ooh. What? Yep, I, I didn't did. want to go over it. One of the most hey. common dangers of dice is blowing up. Wait, I wonder if if, if we stayed 17, would we both die or survive? Let's try another one. Sometimes we survive. Which is a real kind of shoe? Don't really know when it happens. Real kind of shoe. Wait. I feel like I've heard about it. Time's running out. Who picked Brogue? this? I heard about it somewhere. 
One of you is still uh, alive. Follow me. I don't know where, but I've heard about it. I hope you're good with instructions. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. The rules are already on your device. Go, go! There's not a lot for me to do during this game. Hmm. Huh? I guess I'll update my LinkedIn account. Rule time is coming to an end. Oh. How bad. I guess you were over. You're kind of bad at this. <clears throat> it happens. I'm bad with spelling. We're here. The final round is close. Next question. I wouldn't be a very good psychopath if I didn't ask you at least one question about the stock market. Yeah, well. What phrase is used <laughs> to describe a <laughs> downturn period of declining stock prices? Downturn period. Declining stock prices. Almost out of time. Well, I feel like it's this. Who picked? Really? This. I thought it was wolf or beer. <laughs> Bear. Everyone is wrong. Damn. I want to show you something. Fuck. <clears throat> beer. Time wolf. to be subjected to the loser wheel. Uh oh. Give it a spin. Yeah, I'm cooked. There's no way I'm safe. What's more fun than walking spinning? <sighs> well, the loser wheel's gonna loser wheel, Bro. you know? So close. Are you serious? Oh. Ah, crap. Wait, I killed dude. everybody? I guess I'll bring one of you back. See, having the most money is good for something. Yeah. The time has come. It has come. Pause. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? Here's your first category. Never married. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Yeah, how am I supposed to know that? <clears throat> Time is almost up. Let's see the right answer. My twin? Nope, my twin is married. Uh -huh. Renaissance artwork. Uh, yeah, I'm about to. I'm, I'm about to throw the whole game. Bro, why you just quit? Bro. That ghost can smell your life force. There's no point of quitting. Galaxies. You could literally win. All wrong, no points. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. There's no way. A cigar galaxy? The tables have turned. You're just mad? Just stop being mad, bro. Palindromes. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> I got it all wrong. Don't look behind you. See, you can win. Rug burger. Are you afraid of the dark? Kanye West albums. Uh, uh, uh. Time is almost up. I think we had it before. I remembered the Pablo. A lot of lucky guesses.
medieval weapons. Another life force swap. Oh shit. Golf clubs. Bro, I should still play the game, but I. Drivers is like, what? what? You're driving. What do you mean? Next question. Crustaceans. We had it before. Time is almost up. I don't remember, though. Close to the exit. One last trap. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer and to this question. You can guess it right, though. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Yeah, GG. I have no clue. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Bowling terminology. Oh, now you're back to plan. Right. Hi, Beef. GG. That guy too smart. Well, smarter than us, I guess. I didn't even click escape. Oh, because it's spam VIP. I forgot. You're a FIFA commentary? No, I'm not. What you mean, bro? No, I'm not. Alright. We should have enough for push. If that gets voted. Um, I'll put murder still there. Uh-uh. Um, You shall comment on my gameplay when I <laughs> need it. Nah, that ain't me, bro. I don't do commentary to other game playthroughs. Oh, what about joke? There you go. Boarding time. You kind of quit pressure mid run because you got scared. Oh, you actually got scared. That's great. That means I'm gonna shit myself. Guess got two. If it's for quick first, yeah, it's been some time for quick, but uh, I think it's guess. Then we then quit flash. And the time is surely. It was creepy. Ring sound for no reason. Oh yeah, that's great. That's great. Running sound for no reason. A reminder to all agents Jesus. to camera on the coffee pot so we know when you the take the last cup and don't refill the Breathe it in. This Hi, is your final warning. Foolish humans. Imagine we had this a day ago. I'll stop. Um. Alright, spam saving. 
Okay, in turn, let me oh, you set saw up a Jesus. camera monitoring system. Here we go. I saw some else. Oh, nice. I'll be doing surveillance for a water park. Awesome. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. These are cameras attached to bidets. Yeah, I <laughs> saw that. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> anyway, have fun with the crapper cam. <laughs> Alright, Beef. Raj is joining as well. Alright. What's going on? Choose your hey, fighter. Hey, want to see your government in action? Of course not. But the great thing about the petabytes of info we've collected on each and every one of you, we can use that data to play a game. Come on, you don't even have to catch a ball or nothing. Let's play Gespionage. Let's have some analytical fun. <laughs> First up, breathe it in. I'll bet our database has some juicy data. I'm um, first. Old technology. Ooh. What percentage of people have functioning VCRs in their home? VCRs. Functioning Try as well. The correct percentage as that is old. Can. The closer your guess is to the correct percentage, the more Fuck. points you earn. Um. I feel like your grandmas still have some. Or grandpas. Uh, 33. We have an answer. Low as hell, really? Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Huh. Like 10 or 15? Could be. Lower across the board. Okay, let's see the right answer. Be all sold. These are the same people who use 42. Well we don't even count them in the census. Grandmas and grandpas, bro. They got v v VCRs. Who picks higher? Is this thing broken? No. 42. You did not say 42. Okay, you said maybe two. Shut up, bro. We've collected data about everything, even this. Greeks. What percentage of people belong or have belonged to fraternities or sororities? Belong or have belonged to f what? Fraternities or sororities? Okay, higher or lower? What is a fraternities? One lonely vote for low. And the correct answer is... 9%! And the rest of society will never know the pleasures definition. of beer straight from a cake. 60. A group of people sharing common uh, profession or interest. Interest. Oh, and that's the opposite Next of that. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? Brothers or sisters? Sisters? Nope. What percentage of people regularly check their horoscope? So like they like the same thing or they hate the same thing or something like that. Right? Check their horoscopes. Bro, imagine having a horoscope. Okay, higher or lower. I mean, a uh, basic uh, girls, woman. Uh, I'm gonna say higher. Running out of time. Out of old people, old people. People are saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. Wait, what am I talking about? Seven percent. Wait, what's you a horoscope? Within thirty percent, so no points for you. So you all got it wrong. Boo. Who's next? Yeah, no, it's star mm -hmm. signs. Fuck you Ooh, mean a I lot of old people. Good surveillance for this yesterday. Huh? Yeah, star signs. Bro, you made me confused. What percentage of male public restroom urinators suffer from stage fright? <laughs> Something else. <laughs> you 
Urinators suffer from stage fright? Oh, Raj got zero points. Unlucky. Time's a wasting. One percent. Everyone else, higher or okay. lower? Okay. These regular words. I mean, true. There's, there's no way it's lower. Lower is zero. <laughs> like Rods, do you want to have zero points after the game? Thirty-seven <laughs> percent. What are you problem. doing? It's called three cups of coffee. Who got it right? Zero points. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Are you going for the last Next place? Up. No Should way. I for in the old surveillance oh, you think he thinks? Ooh, I know. You help, Hog. Uh, what percentage of people, when brushing their teeth, keep the faucet running continuously? When brushing their teeth, keep their faucet running. Ooh. Water wasters. Forty percent. Everyone. What is a faucet? Or lower. The thing where you get water, like the uh, the man, bro. Faucet is a yeah sink. There you go. Holy, holy moly. Foolish humans. I think higher. What do you think? I am higher one of those water wasters. I keep it running while I'm brushing my teeth. Wait the fuck up! Okay, oh. let's see the right answer. 33%. This is why Californians have great teeth and a water crisis. Tax <laughs> goes no, what? It's only Let's brushing you your teeth. That's like what five minutes. Ain't that bad. Blow off my shoes. That's it for round one. Okay, so are you serious right now, bro? Breathe it in. Yeah, you can't eat that, huh? Time for round You got two. salad in it. Who's up first? <laughs> There was no kitty. All right, I have a good one. Black Friday. Hmm. What the kitty was in the fridge. Up before 5 a.m. to attend Black Friday sale. Woken up before 5 a.m. We had it. I don't remember. Oh, oh, I don't remember. I got dementia. Oh. I mean, America goes crazy for Black Friday. Okay, I don't know, 63? Okay, have a guess. 61%. Oh, 61? In round two, you can double down if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Just pick much higher or much lower. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll get nothing. I got it well. Foolish units. It's lower, though? Wait, Sabian went. One no, he went lower. Well. Okay, right answer is. 39%. You just said I got it well. This, thing called the internet. this ain't well. Break. I was right. way off. Ooh, points for you. <laughs> you okay, cut it well. Up next? <laughs> yeah, you got it well. Zero. I'm going to search for. You got changed, really? Hmm. What percentage of people use hair product almost every day? Every day. <laughs> no, every day is crazy, though. Sixty-five percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Really? I think it's lower. Breathe it in. One of you thinks it's higher. And Surveil says. Weak or something. I should have doubled 31%. down. 31%. Gotta love the commitment. 31. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. And what have we here? Good job. Double points for saying much lower. You thought people are Who's dumb? Next? I mean, fair. Sometimes people are dumb. 
Fast food apps. Yeah, that's great for spam. What percentage of people have apps on their phones? Yeah, for everything fast is not good, yeah. Things for food, fast food chains. Zero, okay. Thirty-two percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I'd say it's higher. Breathe it in. Foolish humans. There's a lot of fat people. Looks like an even split. And Surveil says... Yeah. 42%. Still not that high. Like little Caesar's phone app. 42. It is global, true. I mean, there's still a lot of fat people. Nice job. I've got some points for you. As for you... Ugh, I'm sorry. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Touche. I'm lucky. Next up. Secrets. These people have problems. Cat kissers. Because Rose doesn't people exist. Have ever kissed a cat? I mean, if he's always. I mean, yeah. Raj, like, what are you doing? All right, what do you think? Wait. At all, though. I feel like it's high, but lower than this. And the correct answer is... Any cat. 64%. Okay, it's not that high. Hey, you're a better guesser than our trained rats. Between nice the ears. So on the top of the dome. Yeah. Same. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. You won points. Yeah. Let's go, Rudge. 600 points. Uh, I don't know. How about... <laughs> now imagine if Rudge wins. No way. What percentage of men have their hair cut at establishments that display barber's poles? Hey man, wussy, what? You're almost out of time. 55? 55 percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? No, it says global data, so it's global. Um, I feel like that's a American thing, no? The barber poles. Just one of you is saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. Yeah. Twenty-four percent. Only twenty-four percent. Clearly, Supercuts doesn't have barber poles. Barber pole right. the, the uh, spinning well uh you get points. the pole thingy. Man, like it's uh uh red and blue or something like that. It's time for the final round. Through totally legal means, we found the most popular answers to this question. Alright. What food item do people most often eat when attending sporting events? Now let's see the answer. Attending sporting event. Oh, it's pink and blue? Maybe. You get three guesses. Try to pick the most popular answers to get the most points. Ready? Sporting go. though. Wait, what? Why is there like a lot of bad food? The fuck? Wait, I'm confusion. I feel like I'm about to sell. Don't forget, you can pick three answers. I'm about to sell. Let's see what answers you chose. Oh, when you watch sports. Oh, I'm cooked. And what are the most popular answers? Hot dogs has to be there. Yeah. My brain was autism. GG. <laughs> I read it wrong. Who is it? It's. Bro, I thought it was like after like doing sports.
Congratulations! As a bonus prize, I'll tell you which presidents are Okay, really Raj. Why do you keep trying that command? Alright, beef with the W. Hundred points. Hey, it is what it is. Game is game. It was guess and then it was quiplash. Yeah. Yep. Kebab. I'll check all the on any platform. I'll make music. Alright, 10. Hope your friends get a free gaming PC and they don't invite you to play. That's fucked up. Uh, if you don't know, if you press the save answer. Any dizziness while playing, you probably won't do very well. <laughs> I hope you're all using your full legal names because this game will affect your credit rating. This is all the Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. The more people who vote for your answer, the better your score. Let's go. Hold on. I'm stuck in shit. Five seconds. <clears throat> if you don't know, Wait the fuck up! get the safe answer. Almost out of time. Use the safety quip button if you have to. Ten seconds. All right. Okay. Remember, this is all your fault. Starting us off. If you don't know, wake the fuck up. Yeah. That starts with laser. Okay, laser circumcision. Laser inside your ass for a tighter ass surgery. So ass surgery or, or circumcision. You went hard on spam? Damn. Wait, is Beef gonna win back to back? And back Next to back? Warning, the government allows school lunches to contain up to 4% blank. Saying uranium your votes. come from the must uh school lunches. Uh 
Okay, we'll spam and beef. Oh, have fun with the FBI. Oh. Uh, uh. Next in the hopper? Uranium has a lot of I calories. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Uh, does it now? It's voting time. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. I heard them catching ghosts. I saw mommy bombing this. What? What's with the towers? People love to joke about 9-11. Your next prompt is... Spell out the sound a fish hitting a person in the face makes. Fish plap plop. Fish busting on face. Take it. Not say that. What? And next, the number one thing on Superman's bucket list. Sad tuba. I don't get it. Fucking spams mom. What? <laughs> no. No. What? I think I yeah I even forgot the whole Raj Calm down that's it let's see the scores for round one on his birthday is crazy though huh. Eight or nine of a kip. <laughs> It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. doubled. That's right, seconds. doubled. Brag. I'll give you that. It's your birthday. That was that was uncalled for. Alright, 35 seconds. Let's start this show. Number one on the list, the name a Starbucks barista would write on the cup for you got shitty ones. Gandhi. Shoot top. Okay, everybody shoot your here. favorite. Gandhi's last wish. I mean, shoot here doesn't really make sense. I can coop have four rounds. Next, I oh, don't know. Worst cocktail that ends in teeny. Bukaki teeny. The facts of life themes. Did what? Did you even try? That's a safety! Type of safety Next is that? Up, a rejected superhero <laughs> the blank mobile. Time to vote. The master mobile. The sister fister mobile. Bro, that was horrible. I had to leave the chair, bro. Fifty <laughs> fifty. Moving on, the worst TV program, Blank Dance. 
dance party. Okay, Diddy dance vote. party. JV lacrosse practice. I guess that's a safe answer. <laughs> For, I mean, it's better than nothing, or I don't know. People are not voting, though. Let's help with that. Raw channel saving. Okay, next one. The name of a really crappy right. robot. Really and crappy vote. robot. The cum master, he can't come. A forklift injury. A name of a really crappy. Both of them don't really make sense to me. That was safety as well. Oh well. All the time. Fair Round enough. two's done. Let's see who's winning now. It happens. I cooked. Whew. I might get the W. Welcome to the last I mean, it's last better than nothing. Round. There's just one and I don't know. And you're all getting it. So, still good. Yes. Follow these word lash instructions. Better off make some random shit up. Come up with the romantic comedy film with this word in the title. Tooth in the title. Good joke. You got horrible ones. Uh, well, it happens. Oh, uh, 12 seconds. Yeah, L safety. Five seconds. Ready to look. In this round, you've got yeah, three what are to give to, to your come three inside favorite the monsters. Gold, tooth. silver, and bronze. Choose wisely. Tooth and the big cock. The bombastic tooth fairy. Birthday edition. Our tooth fall just like how we fall for egg. The horny lost tooth. What's the EC stand for? Each other? That's a C. Nice. Let's see who snagged oh, the medals. Well, you saw it first. They do Bring all the have silver. tooth. And gold. Damn. All right, let's turn that into cold hard points. I got the worst. I thought I cooked. Moron! I guess not. I sold. There's no way I'm first. That's the game. Let's see the final scores. I know space. Well, it is what it is, bro. Wait, I still win. Hey. Hey, Beef didn't win this time. What are we playing? Mm -mm. Voting time? Faking it? Are you dumb? Are you trolling? You could have been the same room. 
bro for gore. Are you here, literally, in room with me right now? No. <laughs> what do you mean, yes? You're not in my room. It's only me in this room. Bro. <laughs> That's the... Uh, bro. Uh, we got roll guess murder. Um, I'd say we'll start with roll. Don't really know much about all uh, beef. You must be the guinea pigs I ordered. Sign in with the room code and make sure to snap a selfie or draw yourself for our record. Needs us all to get in real life. Yeah, faking it. We not real? Okay, now saving is trolling. I swear I took a picture. The fuck? Am I lagging? What's going on? I see you. Got spam Raj Sabin. Uh, beef you don't want to join? <laughs> what a birthday party hat. Fair enough. Spam... Spam hole? Okay, Raj. Three, two, one. It looks like seek from doors. Okay. Welcome to Role Models, where name calling is a science. Here at the lab, We've spent years searching for the not oh. interested. Fair enough. She Give me a category anymore. to start us off. Ideally, something everybody knows a little bit about. Next game, faking it. No. Next game, um, murder. Then guess. Which of the deadly sins are you? Wow, so, so many. So, on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each role. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it mm. worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their roles, Fuck. we'll check out the results. We'll do that. You forgot your 99? It happens. Bro, <laughs> faking it now. The save it is troller. Gotta be. Bro, I got small ass pupil. Raj? Who you are. Let's see those votes. No, I was we thinking of thinking me, the but thing on that one. then I went pride for me. That's our winner. Because you know my image and stuff. I like to reward I my guess. lab rats for positive behavior. But so I'll I give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whenever your answers match the group. Oh, you Whoever went pride too. The, the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, you keep your pelt shiny. I was thinking either glutton or pride. Greed. Take out the outliers. Save them. Hooray! Bah humbug. 
Buy humbug. Chicka bow wow. Lost spam. Yo. And I feel like he's unbanned yes already. Was 100 right. 500 seconds. That's not that much. Hmm. Looks like your peers weren't feeling any of these roles for you. I've got a backup role that might fit you better. Spam hole. Everyone yeah, vote it's on just which timed out. Go to this perplexing just subject. do on timeout if he's still timed out. He no way of yeah, knowing how you that's feel what I'm about saying. This. It's only 500 seconds. You get seconds. the roll and some science pellets. So he's fine. That's the lineup. And here's how you're yeah. doing on science pellets. Just a reminder, I'll reward you with pellets when your answers match the group or when you do the best in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to beat your fellow guinea pigs. Ross is <laughs> What's our next category? I guess that's kind of funny. Oh, the sex education. That could be. Alright. Is Raj... I feel like Raj is... Uh... He's pissed off, so he's uh, taking all of our time. Which way to learn about sex are you? Raj, come on, man. Okay, make it those ain't matches. That deep, bro. And remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. No show don't tell is not appropriate. I mean, yeah, true. You can insult me. I don't give a fuck. Ross and Rachel Friends. were freaks. Yeah, I know. That was left over, so I went with it. Subjects who already have a role don't need From another movies. one. So yeah, let's lose I knew these it was going to be spam. If it was Avatar, you might still have some questions. <laughs> Cyclops. <laughs> I do. percent guess paid off. Cyclops with no uh, mouth and nose. I know there's a lot of moisture involved. Seek from doors. Here, Seek, from who's doors. Who? Seek from doors. Seek from doors. Oh, and you? You are scary good at this. Do you want to Yeah, makes sense. Me and Spam are tied. Okay, we've got some solid info on each of you. Now let's run the numbers and see if anything interesting pops up. You guys. Your roles tell me you share a common personality trait. <laughs> you guys are like twins. Sneaky but one of you sneaky. has to be better. What homemade right. trap would you prepare for a pair of bumbling burglars? Answer the prompt on your devices, and we'll settle this once and for all. This is like a uh, home. What was that called? Alone at home? A oh, home alone. That's what it was called. Home, alone, home. Uh, 
lock in. Two seconds. There you have it. Garage. Vote on your devices now. Bruh. Are you still angry, bro? In science, we call that a shutout. Bro, Raj, stop being butthurt. It ain't that deep. Okay, what will our last category be? Ooh, incarnation could be interesting. Now he probably thought it was a ban. Now he would see it's a timeout. We did reincarnation. Well, there's probably more than the same thing. I appreciate it, Raj. How will each of you probably reincarnate after death? Assign yeah, it's different. Roles. I'm pretty sure it's different. Let's see. Let's see what everyone picked. Let's see. As a cat, me? Meow. I mean, I do love cats the most as animals. I thought human. Oh well. Because, you know, I appreciate my life. If at right. first you don't succeed. Well, I sold them. Saving them. Human as a dog. Ah, uh, who's a good dog? This is so like, huh? Y'all sold. You know what? I didn't sell. Y'all sold. Look, someone's got to do it. Here's where we landed. Saban One last first. thing before the experiment ends. Let's see if there are any more interesting patterns in those roles. You two, your roles tell me you've got something in common. Which is cute and all, but there can be only one. Your friends are in charge of preparing a high school dance. What job do you take? Answer the prompt on your devices dance. and we'll settle this job. once and for all. Oh, like roll. Oh, yeah, GG. If it was me, I would have actually put in like a job. <laughs> what would you take? I guess, yeah. You set up the stage, yeah. Oh, I was starting to think like a janitor or something. <laughs> I would have sold so hard. Okay, there's the data. No, bro. Vote on your devices now. It works too. Maybe. Print the lights, but I hold the ladder. Yeah, I'd call that pretty conclusive. Rush. It's like you're not trying, but then you try, but then you're not trying. <laughs> nah, Raj is trolling at this point. That's it. The experiment's complete. Get ready for your final roles, as determined by everything your fellow lights. subjects said about you. What? Lights are easy. Barely parental, jealous, persuado, schemer, what? Hungry, secret <laughs> Are you <laughs> Super dependable, sexy, movie buff. And my favorite little lab rat they just the called me fat. Pellets is... Bro, <laughs> they just called me fat. Very greedy, wealthy, penny pincher. Bro, I just got bullied. Are you serious? Damn. Huh. 
hungry slob. All right, murder. Damn, time is moving up. Oh, but I did say I'll play guess as well. Oh well, promise is promise. Did I swear I clicked on it? I guess not. Bro, I, 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 in my mind, instantly, I was like, Ohio. <laughs> the code is Ohio in my head. Oh, Christmas, we should do only community games as a gift. Five days before Christmas. Only community games. If you have enough people, sure, why not? Why am I a nerd? We got Kristoff. Stuff. This me. Oh, so you gotta. You change your name or a different account. Right. Isn't Crystal Jebus as well? How you doing, though, Kristoff? You change your name. Fair enough. Or I could just call you Chris, that's probably better. Alright, 10. Alright. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. You're going to die here, but I'll ease up on the tutorials just for you. First question. Where does the movie Casablanca take place? Use your device. Oh, I was thinking something way different. Uh, I feel like we had it before, though. This is calling me somehow. The correct answer is Algeria? Morocco. The That's close, right. though. Shit. The rest of you, come with me. Yeah, we had it before. I forgot the answer. Welcome to the killing room. Yeah, character. Right. Ooh, a pile of money. Greed. If you take the most or least money, you'll be punished. Oof. Have fun out there. <laughs> Stop stalling and pick a number. <laughs> I'm excited to see what everybody took. Are you s the most and least greedy really messed I up? I went backwards. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Wow. Oh well. You got lucky. You're gonna see a lot of this elevator, so just get used to it. I was in the 300s as well. That would go higher. Let's keep moving. Hmm. What does the R stand for in USSR? USSR, wait. It's that, right? Gotta be. Who picked? Republics. This. Yeah. Hoi four. Way too easy. Yeah, gotta be that. Let's try another one. You, a simpleton, call it jock itch. I, I call never it say jock itch. Name. I never have say jock itch. I say my crotch itch. I'll stop. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I have. Almost uh, out of time. No clue. Who picked this? The rest Easy. of you are still alive. What? Follow me. Welcome to room two twenty seven. It's the pegs well, game. Y'all getting pegged. Pause. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? 
We need some death zones. Hey, I'm you. going left. Pick the landing spots that kill. Or the first one, then. I don't know. Y'all do what y'all do. Okay. Oh. Let the games okay. begin. Even. Pick a spot to drop from. I'm sure everything will work out for you. Ooh, I just love watching this one. Kristoff. Alright. Y'all are safe. Well, that was thrilling. But if I'm being 100% honest, I'm a little disappointed. Okay, moving on. Easy. We went all left, yeah. Let's keep moving. Which family is featured in the novel, The Grapes of Wrath? Oh, imagine uh, if you... I'll stop. <laughs> Time's running out. <laughs> Who picked? This. Shit in my ass. The Joel family? I want to show you something. Kinda this easy. one lets you protect yourself with the password. How is it Enter easy? Enter a real oh. four-letter word with your device. Ooh, I like it. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Mm. This is interesting if you're the one guessing. Come on. Couldn't think of one? I'll enter one for you. And I'm putting your password in the closed captioning. So if you have it turned on, everyone will see it. I got it. Now everyone else will try to crack the passwords. I got it. As a team, guess either password I got on your it. device. Oh, you got cookies. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. I will reward you all for every password you crack. Yup. Yeah. GG. Don't be greedy about what letters you figured out. Let everyone know. Mm. Fuck. Bro, what is your word? Time's almost up. You got packed, son. That was such an easy name. We could not guess that. It is what it is, spam. You got bugged. You need to update the fucking house. You got played. Play. Nice. We're here. See when what one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. Which of the following is not in an A cream? <laughs> mods. I, I'm pretty sure this is moddable. There's some type of mod out. I'm not a Almost out of time. Who picked this? What? Carbonated water. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. Egg? Wait, what? Egg is not in an egg. Yay! I love using Cousin Aloysius's Bro. magic props. Pick a space in this box to hide yourself. Don't worry, it's not like your life depends on it. Y'all dead? We'll see. <laughs> Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Now, can you confirm that we've never met before? <laughs> Just kidding. A little magician banter. You get a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword. Oh. Stab, stab. 
I got a double kill. That was me. <laughs> I got a double kill. Hey, sucks to suck. Ah, uh, Raj got Whoa, money though. You all died too easy. But I, I still cooked. Need someone alive. So. Play it's kind of play. arbitrary, but you have the most money. Say so. Mm. Anywho, the time has come. Come? Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? Let's we'll see, Rod. Here's your first category. Dungeons and Dragons abilities. Tap each answer that fits Optimism. the category, and then what? press submit. There's no imagine. Time is almost up. One one. Let's see the Katie right answer. Capybara Night 32 yeah. is now following. Okay. Capybara, appreciate the follow. Has webbed feet. Chilling as always, so will you. Time is almost up. Adler Doug. A lot of lucky guesses. Very good. Normal results. Beatles songs. Oh, uh, if you want, I'll uh, check a little tism on any platform. I make music. Yesterday. That ghost can smell your life force. Oprah's. Opera's. Yeah, no clue. <sighs> uh oh, here comes trouble. It's only darkness. Plagues of Egypt in the Book of Exodus. Fire plague, what? Time is almost up. There's no way. Hail plague? Interesting. New Testament books. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's with the time? I just realized. I don't know, Testament. Test these nuts. Next I'll question. Stop. Pause. Tarot oh. cards. Right. Ace of Cups. The exit is so close. Parts of an animal cell. Time is almost up. All of them. GG spam. Lights out for you. Taylor Swift. Taylor album. Swift albums. Yeah, I'm not a Swifty, so. Uh... Oh my gosh, <laughs> who's it gonna be? Oh, I'm real close. Where do you think you're going? If you Rod is close to winning. You'll need a perfect answer to this question. Onions. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Licorice. What? <laughs> How Rod's got all wrong. Are you selling right now? Mammals. I'm selling. Things against you literally is. You have to get I'm still somehow alive. Mm. You stole some I feel like Chris is gonna win. Oh, Chris. Flags with stars on them. Time is almost up. Rod's got the easy question, bro. 
We the stretch right now, bro. I would have won. You didn't know Pakistan got a start. The marine mammal one was easy. What? Tell me, animal expert are you, bro? Okay, it's an easy answer. When you get answer that no one has ever heard of. No, no, no. Uh, guess. I did say. I don't break promises. Unless I forget about it. To all agents, the break room refrigerator will be cleaned out on Friday. Foolish. Please remove all personal uh, saving items, go first. Breathe it in. condiments, lunch containers, and the frozen Hitler. I didn't say to f I'll finish at doors. Okay, bro. Won't break promises? Where is my kilt then? Cause I never promised to get that kilt. To all agents, Brother. If you return a jetpack, please make sure it's refueled. Thank you. That's pretty full lobby. I guess that's all? You can start saving? Three. Yep. Two. Three. Two. Um. Three. Why are you edging two, me? Pause. One. I'm just saying that why not Bro, saving, stop edging. What is this? Where's Civ 7? I did not promise to play. Hey, your government here. You know, I promise to play if I get money to buy the game. About all of you. Now, that's what, that's what I promise. Call your congressperson. Let us make it up to hey, you. so better donate to buy the game, bro. a game that we call Gespionage. Now, let's Definitely when I'm so in my uh, RV stream, First up, I should in. do more late streams. I'll bet our database has some juicy Cause then we'll have more people. When playing Roblox games with you on stream. What percentage of people always return to their cars before parking meters I don't know, expire. suggesting. And Giving tomorrow maybe? Guess, you get with the horror points, game? The closer you come to the actual percentage. Return to their cars before parking meters expire. Before they expire. I mean, surely. Anytime now. Like, Got yeah. Seventy-two. Somewhere there. Okay, everyone else. Time to guess. That's if the British. Percentage is higher or lower. If you think the guess is off by fifty. Oh, you don't want to play. You can get oh. double points by picking. I guess I'll be having a heart lower. attack. Wait, you can already go. Since when? It just started. Huh. Just one of you is saying higher. And Surveil says... It bugs. 48%. That, my friends, is the definition of People forget their parking. You gotta lock lower. it in, bro. Smart. Yes. Yo ass getting fined. And what have we here? Great answer. Double it literally skipped around. Wait, what? Next up. Huh. Oh, it didn't. Oh, Ooh, this is gonna be good. No. <laughs> Imagine brownies. They're all busting. What percentage of people prefer brownies with nuts over nutless brownies? Nutless. I mean, if you got nut allergy. I feel like it's because of people. Forty-two percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Um. I'd say lower. The vote is lower. Now let's get yeah. to the right answer. Milk or brownies? No. Nice. Thirty percent. Thirty. That's what we call in the ballpark. I think I would have gone somewhere in thirty, but. Not Let's exactly. See who got it right? Here's some points. And what have we? Because I feel like ah, you do kind of ruin the brownies. That answer nuts. was closer than 15 percent. Should what have doubled down. I mean, I love nuts. Next. Pulse. Hi, but in brownies, data about nah. everything. 
even this. My favorite nut is the cashew nuts. They are so good. The Indian nuts. Pause. What percentage of people are Facebook friends with one or more of their old high school? <laughs> okay, wait, what? I do nuts, bro. Facebook friends with one or more of their old high school teachers. We love nuts saying pause. 16%. Okay, higher or lower. I feel like it's higher. No? 16 is way low. It's right. unanimous again. Okay, let's see the right answer. Yeah, way low. You weren't within 30%. I would have so gone. No points for you. Maybe 40 you right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Got a context with okay, gay teachers for next? no reasons. You friends with some old ass? Uh, I don't know. How old They just for gore in their friends list. No? What percentage of people have seen seven or more Fast and Furious <laughs> movies? Seen seven or more Fast and Furious movies. Should have been Raj to go to 50 at Facebook. You wish you saw I'm all Jason. of it? Eh. I don't really care about Fast and Furious. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? But have seen. I feel like it's popular though. I do feel like it's popular, but all of them gotta be lower. Only one of you thinks it's higher, and the correct answer all is all of them. Yeah. Eleven percent. I should have doubled them. They're the reason why there will be a thirty-second, thirty-third, and thirty-fourth movie. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Spam sold. Next up. Like four billion people seen seven movies. Mm, this Furious. should be refreshing. Uh, what percentage of adults have drunk a Capri Sun in the past year? What Raj does. Okay. <sighs> Why, man? What's the point of being annoying? Have drunk a Capri Sun in okay. the past year. Higher or lower? Adults. And this is global, not America. 18 is kind of low. Mm. Shit. Hurry up. I'm gonna go higher. Breathe it in. Just one person says lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. Oh, way higher. Oh, they're in Romania? Like the product or the act of stabbing Not in out. Estonia. Oh, well. Who got it right? I know they're popular well, in America. Uh, you get points. Who it is next? though. It is Ooh, like juice. fruit flavored juice or whatever. Yeah, it's that one between the index and ring fingers. What nostalgia. What percentage of drivers have flipped off fellow motorists within the last week? <laughs> what? One hundred, okay. Thirty-five percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? A fellow motorist. Hey, Johnny. Welcome back. A fellow. I feel like it's less. Breathe it in. People are thinking it's lower. A and the correct higher? answer is... Wow. Twenty-six percent. I thought it was in 10 somewhere. 26. Good guess, though. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Got something right. Oh, it's wow. Time it did skip, round. right? We embedded microchips in hundreds of subjects and found the most popular answer to this question. Which movie soundtrack is most people's favorite? Too many people, Let's that's why. Let's see what people think. 
Has to be. No way it's a bug. Most people You'll need to pick the three most popular answers to get points. Ready? Go! Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta be that. Gotta be that. And then... I don't know about the third one. Let's see what answers you chose. Back to the Future and Star Wars, right? There's like and classics. What are the most popular answers? What? Guardians of the Galaxy. Who's my hero? Who's my hero? It's... Queso Diarrhea POV. I'll stop. It's a tie. Moderator and Chris. Congratulations. You know so much I'm in Sabin. Sabin and Chris. You... Wait, you tied the fourth? Oh wait, you did. Spam and Raj. Yeah, but this was fun. Now, who we gonna raid? Calculated. See you tomorrow. Hi, Raj. Peace out. Raid a bead. Uh, this one? Official job box again? Oh, it's probably the first one. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I might as well just. <coughs> I'm good, bro. The <laughs> time down one second. Go down there if I remember correctly. <laughs> Naughty pack. If the if the the, the lag is too bad. I feel like they didn't really acknowledge. I mean, I guess, sure. I mean, they were talking, but they didn't like... I mean, okay, fuck it. We'll start the raid. Makers of Jackbox, yo. Hey, as always... Love all your mentals. Hope you enjoyed your stay. And I'll uh, see y'all tomorrow. So I'll uh, peace out. And uh, good. You're night. not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Hey, I'm not that guy. But uh, I am. Penis. That fella. Rug Burger Ray. Middle finger? Yeah. Uh, it's all the real ones that were committed by our government. Okay. <laughs> See, I didn't count those because I was like, that's not a conspiracy theory. That's just real. I think it's a stunt <laughs> to throw people. We, we gotta find out something. Someone I think <laughs>